sorry, y'all. <laughs> Unprepared niggas. So take, so take two. I guess it starts here. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it start right here. They missed all of the get up. <laughs> missed everything. Niggas in wheelchairs beating people up. Yeah. It happened though. I was there. That's, That's some what, wild shit. Yeah. That's what I'm like. Damn, they really like this. They had to carry the nigga and put him in the slide him in the back seat and then fold the chair up. And put it in there with the nigga. Like, if a nigga in a wheelchair ever attacked me, I wouldn't even really beat him up. Like, I would just do some heavy shit, like push a chair over, <laughs> and then roll the shit down the street. That's so wrong. <laughs> Who's loud ass phone? He's back. <laughs> gotta be. Shot. Definitely yours. This is how we started. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We back another week, another episode. Of Byob. We I am your host, regular job. I go by the name of AO80 Proof. And we got a special motherfucking. I don't know if it's a family or what. Guess away. Yeah, 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 because this nigga was actually a co host. She's back home. And yeah. We're back. We, We're we back. have the fucking Simba. Young Nala came back home. I'm back. I'm it? back. I missed you guys. Oh. We got motherfucking Pamela the Pusswa. Ew. So gross. <laughs> Pamela the Pusswa oh, in the motherfucking fire. building. <laughs> Pam, I miss you, man. Pam, the poop first. You first guys. off, we are back. This is our first episode hey. all together because this is like one used to miss it and one didn't, and then so now we all here. Wow, this is back. gonna go bad though. They got me drinking tequila. Oh yeah, this tequila is gonna is go good crazy. For you. Y'all heard the story of what happened on Christmas Eve, so we gonna try to keep that under wraps. This. But it doesn't make y'all hot though. Tequila makes my skin hot. It definitely makes me hot. That's why I turn air today. It yeah. may, I mean, it made me hot. This hoodie is coming off in a little bit. And it make your skin hot. It make me hot. I bet it does. <laughs> In the, in the pants. <laughs> Hiding the pants. Hiding but yeah, man, we got we gonna have a good motherfucking episode. It was a, it was a lot. A happen. good motherfucking episode. Yeah. A lot of shit that happened. Where do we? Where the fuck do we start? We start with music. We start with uh. I mean, I want to start with a nigga throwing bags of dicks at his baby mama. <laughs> oh man. Were they her dicks? That's the question that I have. Like, as so Antonio Brown. You know, he got into a beef with his baby mama. Cops was calling. Mm-hmm. The whole episode, whole video. We'll show y'all the video. But this nigga had a bag of gummy bear dicks and threw the gummy bear dicks at his baby mama. And that was my question. I was like, nigga, why did you have a bag of gummy bear they dicks? They probably do some strange shit. Because if you, like, look at the blogs and stuff from, like, him saying he missed being inside yeah. her, she got some flame. And I think they might have been, they might have been theirs. But she don't even live there. That don't mean he ain't missed being in the inside, because that's what he texted. <laughs> they missed it. So, they might have been on some freaky shit. Hey, man. You got to be a freak to have a bag of gummy That's what I'm saying. We're, he didn't go to the store and be like, you yeah, know what? Yeah, that's why they make them shits. Like, yeah. You got to call somebody to make them. You can buy them, but I'm feeling like they had them in the house already. Those, those are her leftover dicks. <laughs> those are hers. And he was like, take these dicks with take you. Take this dick with you, bitch. <laughs> these gummy bears so, if y'all guys. don't know... What the fuck were you talking about? Um, there's a video of Antonio Brown kicking his, I guess his baby. That's, that's his baby. Real baby mama, mama yeah. Like okay. three, I think he got like three kids. Yeah, they got like kids. Kids, kids. kids. He yeah. kicked her and the kids out. That wasn't an accidental pregnancy. Like, you fucked yeah, her once no. and you kept going back to shoot that shit up. Yeah, he, 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 kicked the, he kicked the kids out too. So, hold on. Let me let me see. We got a little, uh, let's see what we got. Josh pulling up TMZ for the report. <laughs> Stop going to TMZ for the news. You see this, sir? This is a fucking Billy. That bitch is broke with two more other kids. That bitch got none. She don't have no Billy. She's staying at a hotel. Ask her where she's staying. Ask her. Okay. Well, that doesn't make a difference. I'm Bro, she to... here with my fucking keys, and you said you can't get my keys I, back. I, I didn't say that. All right, so get the keys. Well, so I'm asking you, I did you got the kids? Or what could you do? Like? Well, they weren't his keys, though. They were rental keys. Bro, this account. wasn't even let about me, the let real clue. To you. Let me explain to you. I'm going to listen to you. If she has any sort of proof that... Bro, she ain't got no vehicle. This is my fucking vehicle. I'm not listening when you say no. You ain't telling me the right thing. You ain't telling me the right thing. You good? You good? No. Let me get to the to the funny part of the whole video. See the messages? The kids not going to school. She's here trying to steal in the car. This bitch is a baser, bro. She can't take no car from me. She she evicted. She shouldn't be here. You guys should know that. Yes. Yes. These niggas gotta make calls for niggas to get justice. The police can't even know what to do. They gotta call. They can't even know what to do. <laughs> we gotta go to jail. This is what we gotta do. This is white versus black right here in your fucking face, right here. How the fuck did we fuck get to race? NFL. This is fuck the life. NFL. White people trying to get over. <laughs> racers and the police not helping. 
trying to finesse a Bentley. Bitch, you don't drive Bentleys. This is not your this life. This ain't your life. <laughs> You're not even a Bentley Titan bitch. It's the bag of dicks. Go get your Nissan Altima. Here's a bag of dicks. <laughs> Had them. Bag of dicks for the dicks. Bag of dicks for the dicks. That lets me know that he has more dicks in his house. I'm telling y'all, they got some nasty chick on them. Fish. Fish, here go the bag of dicks, fish. He just sounds so comfortable saying bag of dicks. Here go the bag of dicks. Fucking basic. Yeah, then the tirade went on for like five more minutes. And then this nigga started wilding on the police and... It just got ugly. Yeah, man. Let me see if I can find a clip over there. So I mean, what y'all? What do y'all? What y'all take? That was their bag of dicks. <laughs> that That's was their. Yeah, that was even, their bag of dicks, and he was waiting on this moment to you throw can't those even dicks get past at her. the argument. Like, <laughs> it's over after the bag of dicks. Yeah. That's it, B. He threw a bag of dicks, but not like I. Ain't, I mean. He fucking uh, up his money though. His sponsors are gone. Oh, yeah. oh my god. No, his uh, his agent left him. His agent left his him. His agent, and then he lost uh, some money from something. Yeah, he training. was a sponsor for the police department's baseball team, yep. so they cut ties. They cut him them. too. Yep. He losing a lot, man. He is. I can't necessarily be mad at the argument. You know, bitch trying to steal a Bentley, whether it's his or a rental. Yes, but a rental. You can't do that shit in front of your kids, man. I mean, you can. Yeah, you can. I wouldn't totally. recommend it, yeah. but <laughs> you can. You can. He should probably get into the bag of dick business. I mean, that's probably where his next sponsor is going to yeah. come from because nobody <laughs> else is going to pick him up. If you selling bags of dicks, call Antonio Brown. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that nigga's, uh, I don't know, he's finished. I think he's finished. I think he's done, yeah. I don't. Y'all know I always like to play devil advocate. I don't think he's done. I think he finished. <clears throat> I feel he like because he's such a good talent, he can make his comeback if he just shut the fuck up. He's not going to shut up, though. Because he hasn't really done anything that's irreprehensible, like that can't be fixed. You just got to shut the fuck up. I for mean, a months. that's the truth, but at the same time, I don't know. I don't, I don't think it's. I think he finished. I think so too. Yeah. I think they're tired of dealing with it. They I, gave this nigga chance after chance after motherfucking chance. I think they're tired January. of it. I think if he shut the fuck up between now and June, so a good six months of just. Shutting the fuck up, staying out of the media and shit. Yeah. That team will pick him up. I mean, he had a um a shot with the Saints, then he started wilding on them, saying they, 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 sign they that used him as a publicity stunt, which they was did. the truth. They, they did. <laughs> but, um, they, but at the same time, the Saints bigged him the fuck up, though. They was like, yo, he was great here, and this is one of the best uh, workouts we've seen in a long time. So it was like, yo, I would have just shut the fuck up, took that. Because the boy is talented as fuck. Yeah, I mean, he's still he he top five career. back. <laughs> when, we, when we said talented, we were talking about football. I'm just saying. Can we, call back on his music career. We were talking about football. I mean, hold on. He do got a song though. Hold on. He let me does see if have I can. Antonio Brown is worse than your local rapper. Like them niggas that try to holler at you. <laughs> he's worse than them. Shit I'm gonna see if I can find this shit. Um, How many horrible rap shows have you had to sit through in your life, man? For. <laughs> <laughs> a few. <laughs> a few. Antonio Brown making music. He did make his disc record to Shaq, didn't he? Oh, really? It was, I don't know. So, I, I can't play the whole thing because, you know, licensing music and shit, I don't want them to take our shit down. Antonio so. Brown's probably, shit, probably not even licensed shit. <laughs> Is Antonio Brown <laughs> making fucking music? <laughs> <laughs> they are for Chicago. Yeah, stop that shit. <laughs> Are we really even playing this song? Yeah, this is I really happening. This is like the intro to the song. This is really what's happening right now. Like, <laughs> this like it. Oh, all right. All right. All right. I just got home from the Eno. Shopping and talking about the Dildo. Dildo? Yo, <laughs> oh, oh, dick. oh shit. Yo, this is dick again. Oh shit. Y'all hear that? <laughs> <laughs> this shit is trash. What? Well, let's all right. Let's be fair. This beat is tough as well. No, that shit. That, shit that beat is hard. As a it's definitely bitch. not. A, it's definitely not a Cassidy <laughs> yeah, beat. You got great production, sir. That, it's definitely not a Cassidy beat by no means. I even felt the first line when he just got back from the NO and Sharden Peyton talking about yeah, the, not the dildo. Yeah, he, he said <laughs> a deal though. No, he said dildo. He said dildo. He's he's got Sean Peyton talking about a deal though. 
That's what he wants you to think he said. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I agree with Pam on this one, B. Hey, Pam is going to turn everything into some fucking dildo crazy shit anyway. That's just uh, what she Antonio does. Antonio Brown got a secret obsession he with does, dicks. With dicks. <laughs> when, when they do his Netflix special, it's going to be like Antonio Brown was gay. He had a secret obsession with dicks. <laughs> Say what they did Aaron Hernandez, man. Oh, we going to get on that because I don't. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll talk about it, but. I ain't say nothing. I was just looking at man. Did he stare at the titties? Man? <laughs> uh, but no, like. You know what the bad thing about rap music is nowadays? This should have probably sold a million records. Yeah. Everything sounds like this it shit. It all sounds it the same. It all sounds the same. <laughs> Everything the same. sounds just like this. Yo, somebody pointed out some real shit to me about Antonio Brown, though. Because once you watch the Aaron Hernandez special, you do all the. You know, research on CTE, the mm -hmm. brain disease from football players. Watch that. He is. It's a dope documentary. Yeah. Um, that motherfucker got hit a lot. He's a, he's displaying <laughs> a lot of the symptoms of somebody who has advanced CTE. Yeah, like, aggression, aggression, yeah, random, all that shit. like random outbursts, depression. Like, no, the nigga died as much as mine. There's no no because it's it just comes from you. Your brain just taking so many hits. Yeah. Like, the cells wow. is fucked up, and the tissue is fucked up, so there's no... I mean, I knew some shit was wrong when a nigga died his mustache blind. That's I mean, what... niggas do that nowadays, though. Yeah, that's his young nigga shit. It yeah, was just the mustache, though. It won't like it the rest of the video. Yeah, just man. We, we old, nigga. Like, yeah. This I, nigga our age. Yeah, but... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, what the fuck are you talking about? This nigga is the same age as us. That's true. This nigga does not get a pass. He ain't OBJ age, and he a little too old for that shit. Nah, I mean, you got to... But OBJ good. only like, what, like 26, 27 or some yeah. shit like that? He, ain't, he a young nigga. But this, AB fucking, he been... Like 32, yeah. 33, yeah, yeah. I mean, well, you still hanging with the young niggas. You do what the young niggas do. Oh, I mean, for sure. Yeah. But yeah. So then, yeah. At well, the end of the day, that man needs some help. Yeah, he definitely he needs some help. help. Before, he, before he ends up like the next person we gonna talk about. So let's go ahead and get into this ant. I started like a motherfucker. <laughs> I was like, what are we? I was so confused. Like, what are we getting into? An ant? <laughs> Let's go ahead and get Put into the this. Put it down, John. Already. <laughs> Put it down. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get into this Aaron Hernandez shit. So, who? who so, you didn't watch the documentary? Watch it, sorry. Was, do you even know who Aaron Hernandez is? I know he plays football. He baby played. Mama was black. Nigga's not even alive no more. I mean, baby black, baby, she was black. She was black. Yeah. I, I salute Aaron Hernandez and his Pretty ass eyes. Glad that nigga didn't get rich and get himself a white girl. Not that there's anything wrong with white people. Some of y'all. I mean, um, does that apply to him though? Because he's Puerto Rican. I don't think they would get mad at him. All right, so look. No, <laughs> like, I judge. So this is how I judge Hispanics, right? It's either you either black or white. Oh, he was the nigga Puerto Rican. Yeah, he was the nigga. Yeah, okay. In my eyes, you're either black or white. So if, if you're Hispanic, you're either a white Hispanic or you're a black Hispanic. Okay. He was a nigga Puerto Rican. So. But he only became a nigga Puerto Rican in his older ages because he was the white Puerto Rican when he was young because he hung out with a number of white people. I mean, that's what happens when you live in Massachusetts or Connecticut. And he lived in, like, the suburb part of Connecticut, though. This is so. true. I mean, I ain't knocking nobody. No, no, no. You can choose your side as a Hispanic. Because, I mean, we see it all every day. Niggas from the suburbs out here, goddamn, throwing up shit, game banging and all yeah. that shit. So. Uh, from the suburbs. There ain't nothing wrong with being from the suburbs. You can't tell. So, um, yeah. so we we learned a lot of shit in this documentary, though. I'm really gonna go home and watch this because I'm like so interested now. <laughs> Damn, you alright? I looked at Pam. I'm really <coughs> First of all, I'm not alright. This is do we? <coughs> Lord, yo, Teddy's fucking him up. I'm sorry. It's not drip. <laughs> Pam titties don't fuck me up. I think Pam is a beautiful soul, but we all know that it's Pam's little sister that touches my insides. Um, oh, man, if you was here for episode three, Covers and Condoms. Y'all talked about condoms? We'll get to that later, too. Um, <laughs> that was just the name of the show. It was very funny. I think we all agreed in the show that nobody uses them. Um, Absolutely not. Yeah. So <laughs> we'll, we'll get to that later when the sex talk comes. But, yeah, so, so we learned a lot about dude. I mean... He was abused verbally more so, which the part that you're going to find interesting is that they pretty much said that this man was gay from a teen. Yeah, well, I was going to lead up to that. No, that's what, what? that's what's going to interest Pam. Exactly. See, I, I knew that was going to be the face that Pam made. So they I don't know why Pam is obsessed with gay shit. It, Pam is just obsessed with not her own gay shit, though. She's just obsessed with 
Sex period. That's why I, I love Pam. I think it's just sex. It's my thing. Yeah. Pam is the only female that I notice like as nasty as me that I can just talk to without yeah. having to edit myself. <laughs> it's just beautiful. Is that your thing? It is. It is. <laughs> Are you slurping that drink? Yeah, like that? it just like that. <laughs> that's how they do that shit. That's how they do it in the movies. Oh, that's no, that's how you do it on some pussy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Pam, Pam seen me eat oxtails before. So. <laughs> but no, they tried to say. <laughs> they really tried I to say that am. he was like gay growing up. Like he was fucking his yeah. high school teammate. Or the, the and the high school was teammate. Was it true or it was a rumor? The high, I mean, nobody know, but the high school teammate said it himself. That yeah, they, that they was fucking <laughs> that some niggas age. Oh, his well, then he hit it. Yeah, his brother came out and said that he was sexually abused as a child. So, I mean, yeah, he got molested by his older cousin in the tent at yeah. a sleepover. So that's good. Oh, it be your own family. Yeah, that shit is wild. They said they he forced him in the tent, and his dad obviously, um, his dad was a manly man, old so school was, yeah. manly covered man. Up like he won't with none of that shit. No, they're like, not covered up from him. You can't no. even tell your dad. Yeah, you his dad ass, was like, like, "Yo, I'm gonna beat the." Like, he, yeah, he's one of them. Like, I'm gonna beat the gay out of you. He wanted them like old oh school, God, you know. Which is, I mean, that's how it was back in the day. Though. I can't even mad at it. Like, I have nothing against homosexuals, but I have a son. Yeah. I want my son to grow up straight. Like, yeah. it's just that's because I'm a heterosexual man. Yeah. yeah. I mean, exactly. that's just what, yeah. I mean, not to say that homosexual men are any less manly than any other right. man in this world, but I prefer my son to be a heterosexual man. So that's just what it is. So and and Aaron Hernandez is the proof of that because that nigga was not a a non manly nigga. Yeah. He was manly to the point where he was smoking niggas. And that's why they said a lot of his violence came from having to hide who he was for real wow. all these years. And that's how the documentary tried to point it out. Yeah, I mean, but it was little context clues in his conversations, too. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he wouldn't refer to uh, homosexual people as people. Yeah. He would call them them or they. Oh, yeah, he was in the yeah. closet then. Or one of those, like, you know what I'm saying? And um, even his mom, his mom he, he, the one conversation he had with his mom, when he was, he was like, yeah, you don't even know your own son. But he didn't say what he meant by that. But and then his mom, when his dad died, that fucked him up too. His mom started fucking his dad's cousin. Oh, yeah, this so, family. Is yeah, that shit. So like he's so homie, like yeah. the cousin's wife or some shit like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So like, he went through a lot of shit growing up, and That's then bad. he went to Florida and met whoever the fuck he met, and then once he moved back, I guess the niggas in Connecticut, he started getting connected with the. The real gangster niggas out there, so I need to watch. It's, it's a good documentary. It was a damn good documentary. Wow. You know what I'm saying? It brought a lot of light to a lot of shit that people didn't know, as far as his past life and <clears throat> nah, all that yeah. trauma growing up will really fuck you up, man. Yeah, yeah. Like you gotta you gotta deal with your childhood issues. A lot of Bad. people don't do that shit, and that's why you fucked up adults now. True you indeed. You don't deal with your childhood issues. True indeed. So, so it's a uh, yeah, it's it it's definitely was, a much watched documentary. Yeah, and I'm um, definitely gonna come and watch it. ID's coming out with one too on Monday. It's a about, two. It's a two part. Um, about two part series. Yeah. Pam, you sound like a, a fly buzzing. I was like, a fly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a two part. It's a two part shit. So um, I heard about that one before I heard about Netflix. So I thought that's what everybody was watching. I'm like, yo, I thought it was next Monday, but then you know Netflix. Did yeah, that cause yeah, they did it to Hulu with the Firefest shit. I mean, I'm not mad at you. That's what you do. Nigga, it's competition. You get it out for the competition, dude. Yeah, yeah it's like yeah, nigga, I'm. I'm going to drop my shit a week before yours. And because Netflix did that, I don't necessarily know that I'm interested in watching the ID's version. What else are you going to tell me that I don't know? Yeah. Unless you showing me surveillance of this nigga smoking, <laughs> smoking the motherfucking people yeah. that he did. Which was pretty much the, this nigga. Did, let me tell you, as an ex-criminal. Yeah, he's, the, he's a dumb criminal. As, a, as an ex-criminal, this nigga did everything as a criminal that you're not supposed to do. This nigga <laughs> took a nigga and shot him a mile from his house. He left the body there. This nigga was smoking a blunt while apparently he shot him. He left the blunt on the scene. A half a blunt. Like, first of all, who leaves a half a blunt on the scene? I'm not leaving a, I don't leave a half a blunt for this fucking <laughs> podcast. I'm not leaving a half a blunt on the scene of a murder. Wow. <laughs> so after that, they went to his crib. This nigga's walking around his crib on this surveillance video in his own house yeah. with the gun in his hand, like panicking. Apparently, he erased like some He's of the surveillance. He He's erased panicking. some of the surveillance footage, He's but panicking. he erased all of it. He's panicking like a mannequin. Like a panicking flamingin. You should stop. panicking, panicking, you should, panicking. You should stop that shit. Because <laughs> that shit. That's how Eminem, Eminem get away with it. Fuck Eminem. We're going to get on that later. <laughs> but nah, go ahead, go ahead. You love So yeah, he's, he, he definitely, he's on the video panicking and shit. With, yeah, with a gun in his hand. On camera. On his, on his but personal they, surveillance camera. But they said that he went in and erased some of the footage and just didn't erase all of it. Nick, why the fuck didn't you erase every fucking thing? Wow. 
I just really need to watch this. Yeah, it's a good documentary. Like, all why this niggas catching touchdowns in the Super Bowl. Signed a $40 million deal with the NFL and out here catching bodies. Literally. So, so nobody knows why he killed these people. They're not saying. It's just, that's, it's just that speculation. What, so what the documentary says is pretty much all his all the shootings that he had. What are you looking for? Nothing. I don't uh, need no more right now. Clearly, um, <laughs> all the shootings and shit took place like out of just random anger, like just random spurts of anger. Oh my god! So no. that's how they try to portray. It. But of course, you never know because that man is dead, so he can't tell his side of the story. Yeah. And then you um you did hear about the the two murders that he did, not the one he got locked up for, but the two that he beat no. while he was in jail. So apparently he was at a club and he he killed two niggas because the niggas spilled a drink on him. This this is the story. This is the story. This is the story. So he was in the club. Yeah. They spilled niggas spilled a drink, a drink on, him. on him and he just spazzed and his mans but, had to pull him out of the club. So they like, left and went to another club for an hour and a half, two hours, and then they caught these niggas in the streets at a stoplight. And he just aired the car out. And the nigga and as his mans pulled up to the stoplight, he just put his arm out the window and just emptied the clip on these niggas. Here here's where the bullshit lies, right? As an ex-criminal, and I've never said I'm dead. I've never committed any murders or anything to that extent. However, from all the movies and stuff that I watch, you're not about to be in the passenger side of a car and lean across me as the driver <laughs> to fire the gun out the window. True. You're, it's not gonna happen. Like, like, give bro. me the gun. Where the stoplight? Give me the gun. <laughs> yeah, it's like no. So, and then on top of that. The nigga that was driving the car, he ended up shooting this nigga in the face, like, years later. Supposed to be his homeboy. Supposedly. Wow. I don't believe that shit either. So, yeah, they was down in Florida, got into an argument, and it was in the car. He just pulled up <laughs> and shot this nigga angry. in the face. But that's how he beat it, though. So, his lawyer flipped it to, like, okay, so he shot you, but you said, so now you're on the stand saying that he shot you, but you told the police that you don't know who shot you. And there were text messages saying, I'm going to tell the truth to the judge that I don't yeah, really know Yeah, I'm going to ruin your so, life. Yeah, he said he's going to ruin his life and he's going to tell the truth to the judge. Wow. It's, it's a good-ass documentary. It sounds like it. I have to watch it. But he didn't know. Nobody knew that nigga was going to survive. Like, who? he shot the nigga in the head. In the like, the nigga faces, like, now, I, think I wouldn't say the <laughs> you, got, you, got, you got the Forrest Whitaker jumping. Oh. Like, that, that like shit, heavy. That shit lazy. Like, heavy. Like, he had a stroke. Oh, damn. Yes, you're bad. So, I mean, it's, like I said, it's definitely, we I mean, pretty much told you everything that happened, but. but I'm still going to go watch Yeah, you it. definitely got to watch the documentary. Nah, because it's still, it's still something to see. Like, you still got to, like, you still got to see that shit. Because it, it's. Money, that, that kind of proves that money ain't everything, man. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? This nigga signed a $40 million deal in the NFL. You're still living, going to kill you're people. You're living your dream, and you catching bodies. Yeah, but that's but what also, they, that also lets you know that these niggas, athletes, man, these are regular niggas. Y'all got to stop fucking with these people, man. I don't fuck like, with athletes. No, not you. I, you fuck with athletes, Pam. Get they the be, fuck they out be of in here. your DMs and shit. We know. I don't talk to them, though. You should. You're missing out on bags. <laughs> yeah, nigga, I am we, all about we, a bag. We can get some sponsorship for the all show, right, nigga. Right. I am like, all about a bag. <laughs> Sell sexuality. Oh, nigga, we already know you a fuck for money, so. <laughs> my, only, my only fans is coming in 2020, Pam. This nigga hey, keep talking this shit. shit. My only fans coming in 2020. Do that shit. I my think dick, I'm gonna get one too. My dick gonna be alive for nine ninety nine. So what do you have to show on the fans? I'm I'm whipping out. So he gets support, but I I can't do. I You're I don't not get. Gonna do that. Do we two different niggas, B. <laughs> you know, we two different niggas. Like you know, you know. <laughs> no. Damn, this this introvert shit is real. Like yeah. niggas don't even believe me when I yeah, say no, I'm. You're not. <laughs> you're not about that real filthy no, life. You're not about it <laughs> you're at not all. About that real filthy life. I'm a filthy nigga, B. I'm just I don't know. I'm filthy in public. Like there's a uh, difference. It's, it's real life. <laughs> it's yeah. a difference. Like, it's different. Like, so you know when you're on social media, you can say wild shit on Twitter, but usually, yeah. usually you got like family and friends on Facebook, so you kind of tame down what you say on family. Oh Facebook. yeah, definitely yeah. on Facebook. Not me. I don't give a shit. Oh, nah. <laughs> I, I, block, I, I do block my mom Facebook. from seeing the status. It's like mom, you can't see this, but everybody else. Uh, is my mom and them kind of my Instagram <laughs> is going down, but Facebook, I'm an angel. Nope. Yeah, no, I go I, in on Facebook. I don't give a fuck, man. Uh, we, we were talking about the Aaron Hernandez documentary, right? Mm-hmm. They off that. Um, <laughs> I don't know if anybody's seen it. You do need to watch the Kevin Hart documentary, too, that Netflix dropped. Oh, is it don't, good? Don't fuck this up. That Kevin Hart documentary was real good. Mm. Yeah, he it was. He pretty much just went through his life's fuck-ups. Like, it know, was. His, both his cheating scandals, him leaving his wife, and just the problems he had. But it was okay. real inspirational. It was, it was dope. I'm going to 
Mm-hmm. These people are real people, man. Just because they got millions of dollars don't mean that they not real people. They don't go through the same real shit. shit. Yeah, same shit that we go through. What Kevin Hart documentary made me realize is I'm not doing nowhere near enough with my life. This nigga... This nigga's like the Haymon. You ever watch uh, In Living Color with the Haymons and shit? Yeah. How they got 82? That's that nigga, bro. But that people don't realize that that's what it takes to make... Like, you look at Steve... I'll take Steve, I like Steve Harvey as an example. <laughs> Steve Harvey made a lot of money. But Steve Harvey was fucking working every day of the week. Cause yeah, he had this his nigga radio was show, everywhere. He yeah. had Family Feud. He had his own television show. Like... That should take hours in a day to film. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So you constantly on the go. You getting three, four hours of sleep, you know, sometimes unfortunately. So it take the work to make millions. Not yeah. Real. Even with artists, they on the road all the time, but you still got to go back. You got to make the music. You got to do these commercials. You got to do this, that. So it, it take a lot of time. It take a lot of dedication. Yeah, no, it, that, that's a fact. You know, that shit don't come easy. You be on Instagram and shit looking at the rewards that they got because they on the yacht and shit. Right. Because they finally decided to take a but, week off. But like, she ain't looking at what it took for them motherfuckers yeah. to get that yacht. You know what I'm saying? So, it definitely take a lot. So, that's another good one I tell y'all to watch if you get a chance. The Kevin Hart documentary on this. I just I need time. to find out who's millionaire wife titties I need to suck. Look. So, I can get tricked on. You ain't got to be a millionaire, baby. If you clear a hundred grand, I'm a detailed titty. A hundred grand? I don't want to require much. I make my own money. It's just nice to know that you have your own too. <laughs> yeah. I want to get tricked. Do you on. want a sugar mama? I would. Yeah, I would definitely take one. Not even gonna lie to you. I've been looking for websites, but all the websites they got for women looking for sugar daddies. Yeah. I would definitely take a sugar mama. Yeah. You can get this young dick, make you feel young again. They got the cougar shit. It's um. Tell me the website, y'all. Yes, yeah, I say. Why do you know? No, that? Tell me, yo, tell me the website, y'all. What is the website? And what's your username on it? <laughs> What is your oh. username on the website? Um. So what's the next topic? <laughs> that's how you've been living your life. This nigga's a shit. What's the uh, yeah. What's the next that's topic? That's how you went to Costa Rica. Yeah, I'm trying to figure that out because it looked like it was real nice. You know what? He did do that that typical women shit when you go on vacation. You only post yourself. Yeah, you only post person. yourself. You don't see who took the picture. <laughs> oh, it's getting real now because who got Costa Rica money? And do she got a sister? <laughs> nah, I had a buddy pass. Yeah, the one that she bought. Huh. <laughs> oh, so she works at the airlines. Continue. Do they still do buddy passes? No, they still do buddy pass. Yeah, I had a buddy pass. Tell us more. Oh, yeah, yeah, I had a buddy That's pass. Tequila got you telling the truth. Come mm-hmm. on, come on with it. I told you that shit is dumb. <laughs> nah, I had a buddy pass, and uh, that's it. Okay. What's her name? Ethel. And I just, you know, I slept. I slept like you a dirty nigga. You fucking a nigga, a uh, woman named Ethel. <laughs> 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 you know she at least sixty. Yeah. That's the old bitch name. Yeah, she at least sixty B. Oh, um, you be fucking Gertrude's. Oh so it's it's just Cougars dot com and Mildred's. Just Cougars and Cougar and uh, there's a few of them. Hey, look, if y'all see me on Just Cougar, mind your motherfucking business, okay? <laughs> <laughs> mind your motherfucking business. Oh, and uh, WantMatures.com. dot com. There's one too. Want Matures. He knew that shit off the top. Yeah, of you head. really did. Because he didn't even look at his phone for that like, shit. Like, yo, what's going on with your life? I mean, he does live a pretty good life. Yeah, Who? you do. How? You really do. You always claim you're working, but I, I only see you working every <laughs> once in a while. Yeah, never see it. It all makes sense. It does make sense. What are you talking about? It's okay. I'm glad it's I got you here. back to verify this bullshit with me because everybody yeah. looks at me like I'm crazy. It's all making sense now. This nigga's rich. This the rich nigga. This nigga the one that got three properties and shit. That's okay. He ain't slinging a dick though. You, you giving it out. You making him pay. You judging me for my OnlyFans. I ain't judging. What's the next? So topic? we about to just make what's this it, about what's me. What's I'm the next the, topic? We gonna make me the victim today? We had to talk about it for a second. Y'all victimizing me? Slut shaming. That's what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all fucking slut shaming me. Um, shit, shit. Since we on sports, we might as well stay on sports. So, Tom Brady's contract is up. What do you think he's going to do? That's the guy that pays for the Patriots. So, so what do you think he's going to do? But you had to pay that question. Man, we're like, I really don't give a shit what he do. So. He should probably sit his ass down. He's old. Man, he old, but he still got it. He needs to sit down. Where the hell are you going? Um, as he's fixing the shit. This is why we need a staff, B. <laughs> we need a staff. Yeah, he's um, old, but he still got it. He do still got it. If Tom's not going to sign with New England, Tom needs to retire. Right? Nobody wants to see Tom Brady in any other uniform other than a Patriots uniform. 
He's been in the Patriots uniform for like 18 years. He needs to sit down. Look his life. Yeah. Like I seen um on the shit, a lot of Cowboys fans and shit said they don't want him. I don't think he want to go there anyway. Yeah, first of all, he doesn't want to go to Dallas. <laughs> Second of all, any team should be thankful to have Tom Brady as their quarterback. Let's just be realistic about this. It's Tom Brady. He's the GOAT. And Tom Brady, a real nigga. Yeah, I said it. Tom Brady is a real nigga. He the only nigga that say nigga and didn't get the shit slapped out of him. He said nigga to a nigga. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, like. And the nigga dapped him. The nigga yeah. ain't even. And this ain't no ordinary nigga. This is Ed Reed. Ed Reed. <laughs> <laughs> One of the toughest niggas ever to play in the NFL. So he walked up on Ed Reed because they've been playing against each other for years. And I was like, oh, shit. They, it was after retirement. He's like, oh, shit. They bought you here, nigga. You know you're my kryptonite, nigga. Yeah. And they dapped him up. Like, they just like, You know you're my kryptonite, nigga. But Tom Brady hanging around a bunch of real niggas, too. Right? And he even put the R up there. Right. This was like like me and this nigga talking. Like, yo, what up, nigga? He was saying that shit did a thing for years. Oh, yeah. There are a few white people that get a pass with me that say the word, nigga. I'm not one of those black people who are, don't you ever say the word, like, but you have to have validation. Like, so can can Eminem say nigga? I don't trust Eminem, dude. <laughs> I've never trusted Eminem. It's just something about <laughs> Eminem that's just like, yeah, you rap, but you're still white. <laughs> oh, but the crazy What's thing the name, is. the nigga g Easy? Like, yeah. I might. Oh, you'll let g Easy say If g Easy said that shit in a record, I might be like, oh, whatever. Yeah, I think I'd be okay. Yeah, but, I might. But, but, but Eminem said that shit, I'd be like, nah, you're still white, bro. <laughs> so Relax. You, so you let Macklemore say nigga? I would let Mac Miller say nigga. <laughs> <laughs> not Mac, the not other, Mac. The Miller. other Mac. Yeah. The, other, the real Mac, Mac. I would let Mac Miller get away with saying yeah. nigga. Yeah. Like, I'm sure nigga. I'm sure Mac said nigga in the studio. And, I, niggas and, was, I, and, and didn't yeah. give a fuck. I'm talking about around Juicy J and all of them. Yeah. Like, them so, niggas didn't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Depending on your validation and who, your background and shit, like, this situation. I know a lot of black people won't agree with me. Y'all yeah. already know I don't give a fuck what y'all think. Um, Can't beat me. Yeah. <laughs> and if you can, oh well. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. I'll take an L. You still, still didn't. You still didn't prove no fucking yeah, point. I'm still gonna be who the fuck I, I am. My statement still remains. <laughs> um, so I'm not one of those people. But I know a lot of black people won't agree, but there are a few people who who do that shit. I remember I let a white boy do that shit. Like the twelfth grade, we was at a house party, and it was like we were all drunk. Mm-hmm. And he looked, he was like, yo, because I fuck with him. He was like, yo, I fuck with you. He was like, you're my, and he paused for a second. He was like, can I say it? <laughs> he, and he asked me. He was like, can I say it? And I was like, go ahead, Frank. I remember Frank. His name was Frank. His name was Frank. He, Frank was a real white boy. Like, he's like, this is how much of a white boy he was. It was a Halloween party. He was dressed up as a nun. Like, he was oh, one of those shit. real white boys, yeah. So I was like, go ahead. Because I know at that point, you just saying it out. Like, you ain't trying to cause no yeah. harm. Like, you said it out. Like, so go ahead and say it. Don't say that on the street, though. Like, and I told him that shit. Like, you can say that shit to me, but don't just say that shit on the street to everybody. So. When did they allow you to start saying it, y'all? The day after they gave you your pass. <laughs> I'm fuck. Targeting the you. fuck? I'm just saying. As a, as a fact, though, because I just looked at y'all were both saying it. Yeah, she is definitely darker than you. Thank you. It may just be the red undertone that hers is a little darker. Yeah, she's, she's, she's got your beat, bro. And it's I'm middle, not going to do it. And it's, it's the middle of winter. Hey, look, I'm not going to do it. Number, number you can't one. argue with me. I'm the only dark-skinned representative Nigga, here. winter. I got to say so. Nigga, <laughs> winter literally just started yesterday. It's been like 60, God, 70, 80 dude. degrees for the last fucking two months. You work outside. He don't do no work. He got the sugar mama. That's right. That's why you're so light now. Hell yeah. Because you did have a little, little tan. You had to stop working hard. Are y'all done? Now. Or, was, or is we finished? Y'all finished all three of y'all. Well, all four of y'all. You Pam ain't or two titties. You know what? <laughs> Thank you, twins, for these titties. Twins gave you twins. They did. The twins gave you twins. They did. Shout out to Pam for the twins, though. This is how you know Pam is real, Phil. <laughs> yeah, move your arms, Pam, Phil. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Pam used to be talking about sex. That mic under there. That mic under there. there. You keep. You Pam was. Oh my bad. Oh that's bad. I you just wanted to get this. You just loose. put it in the middle. Oh yeah, I should put it in the middle. Filthy. I'm worried, <laughs> y'all. Hey, you gonna fall for it? <laughs> my bad. No, oh, because it's because she's moving. So yeah. yeah. So All of our sad. listeners, this is the segment you watch for. Pam was adjusting her titties. I'm sorry, y'all. My bad. Let me turn it up a little bit, Pam. 
Pam yeah. was talking about sex and then went and got pregnant. Like her sex, talk, her That's sex talk like real. The, like, like the next episode. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all talk about it on the internet. Pam really about We it. had yeah, one nasty right. ass episode and then Pam went on maternity leave. Like, yeah, <laughs> she yeah, really about this real shit. Quick. She really about this shit. <laughs> but yeah, um, so we, we'll see. <laughs> we'll wait for your topic. Or oh, you want to get into it now? Get into whatever you want to get into. Let me turn this camera off. Or oh, we can leave it rolling. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Lord Jesus. Don't say that. <laughs> <clears throat> Did you hear the way she said it? I heard. I can get it. She wasn't talking to me, so I was minding my motherfucking business. <laughs> gotta, gotta this go. is why the viewers think you want to fuck me, Pam. They, they, already, they already think we. Though. They already think we fucking. You really did turn that up super loud. Yeah, though. it was loud. I yeah. died. <laughs> but no, nah, the crazy thing is, everybody think me and Pam just be fucking all willy nilly. We don't though. I seen it. Well, I seen. A print of it when I was in my early twenties and I got scared and that was it. <laughs> I ran. That's the truth. I'm, I'm definitely leaving this party. I That's have. what happened. <laughs> it's the truth. I'm exiting stage left. This shit ain't got nothing to do with me at this point. <laughs> Sit here, my my motherfucking business. That's I'm what not, happened. I'm having a conversation about this man. I might party. put that shit as a clip <laughs> on happened. Instagram. Get my bait up. Oh my god. <laughs> I got time. That's the truth though. That's really what happened. I ain't gonna debate it. That's. Partially, but I'm not going to debate it. Not while I'm looking good right now. Why are you looking I'm at me? I'm not in this like, conversation. I'm well, not I'm looking at you, my nigga. <laughs> number one, I'm not looking at you. You got to have train etiquette, you know? <laughs> nigga. So, anyway. What? The candles and shit. Don't oh, we're going to talk about the vagina candle. Because I'm, I'm intrigued to find out exactly what the fuck it is. So, Gwyneth Paltrow has, like, a line of... I got it. Um, products like steam free vagina, mm -hmm. like healthy shit. So I guess her and one of her candle makers, she works there, or she has a company called Goop. That's the actual name. That's fine. And the, the vagina candles called. They were Goop mixing smells of all names. Making a candle, <laughs> and she said, "Oh, this smells like my vagina." And then one of the guys that works with her was like, "Well, you should probably put that in a candle and sell it." And they said, ha ha, and laughed it off and ended up putting that shit in the candle. And, so and it sold out. $75 a candle. And there's a, a list, a waiting list, too, to get on it to buy. Niggas the is candle filthy. Sold out. $75. <laughs> it's supposed Niggas to smell good. Like, pussy scented I mean, candles. I would <laughs> hope it smell good if you fucking making a candle. You wouldn't want to, I kind of low key want to smell it, though. I'm not even going to front. It's not even low key with me. You like, know. I yeah, want to smell, you know, smell, smell, smell that motherfucker. Like, I do want to smell it if you want to put in a candle. But I gotta, you gotta smell her pussy too to make sure that it's really what it is. Yeah, I need to make sure that it really smells like your pussy. Yeah, that's real. This bitch is definitely out here selling fake pussy scented candles. <laughs> it should smell toxic as a bitch. You selling, <laughs> you selling your homegirl pussy. That's so bad. You gonna smell her pussy too or you just wanna smell the candle? I don't, she's not attractive to me, um, but I would smell the candle. Gwyneth Paltrow, which which movie was she in? She's in a lot of movies. A movie that a black person would see. Mm. Oh, I, I got Shallow a fucking Howl. movie. Shallow Howl. A whole laptop in front of me. Seen Shallow Howl before? <laughs> she was the fat girl that was really the skinny yeah. girl. She I. Yeah, see, it's not. not I'll buy a candle of Sandra Bullock's pussy. I'm nigga. I'm Nobody's a, ever been. I'm, I'm who's a still ever at? been in there. And Sandra Bullock's pussy. Yeah. I don't know, but I believe Sandra Bullock got some fire. I don't know. I think she's crazy. I believe that too. Most crazy girls got some fire pussy. That's real. And she goofy as shit. Goofy girls be having some good pussy too. Yeah. But nah, Sandra Bullock, that's that's big. So you wouldn't smell the candle? Oh, I'm going to smell the candle. I Fuck you talking about. But the only thing is, it's just like a regular sauce candle. It's not anything big or anything. It's a small, regular ass candle. I mean, if it's going off of her vagina, I'm guessing it's... She trying to keep it as lifelike so like, as possible. Are there levels to the candle? Like, is it no, just like? it's not levels. It's, it's just, just a pussy scented candle. It, it doesn't. It's like citrus and so all I, kinds like, of different smells. So what if she squirts? Like, can I get some squirt in the candle too? Like, and get all that. To burn? I wonder how they figured this all out, or how she said, "Oh, this is what this smells like." That'd be some filthy shit. Like, cause it's gonna take some sort of water in there. Like, somebody's so gonna make some some love into that candle. I put money on it. She did some. She they had to do something. Sticking your dick in candles. That's different. Or is it just, 
Or is People it just like hypothetically her pussy scent? Because it smells I mean, she like she said says her is, pussy smells. This, they were mixing smells, and she said this smells like her. So it's not actually like her juices or nothing. That's what I'm saying. No, like, that's, really, that's what I'm trying no, to no, figure no. out. It's like, not really her, but it just smells like her. Okay, so she just like every other joint that say her pussy fucking smell like mangoes or whatever the fuck. Yeah. Oh man! Next I subject. Yeah. <laughs> no, there's no juice in it. Yeah, I, like I thought it was. I thought you had to like show up to the spot to get some of your pussy yeah. juice out. Yeah, like and they put your pussy juice in the candle and that shit burn. Oh, she would be dead. I mean, no, they, they I mean, get not the juice really. out of it. I don't know because I've seen some James squirt, I get the juice squirt back to back to back to back and that was pee. I don't think nobody bladder hold this much. Back to back, for fact. So back to back. That, back, to back. That's that's my like <laughs> argument with. I'm not saying all squirting is paid, but I'm just saying. What? Like, if she squirt like three, four times, nobody. You ever pee three, four times back to back when you want drunk? Because no. everybody pees crazy when they yeah. drunk. Like I don't, squirting I don't know pregnant. where the fuck that come from, but it got me pregnant. So stay away from that. Oh, squirting got you pregnant. I did. Right. <laughs> so let me see what's next. Um. <laughs> That's it for sports. No, man. But, you know, we gotta figure out we've been past sports a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no, I mean we kinda did, but yeah. I just We need to find a way to actually put the pussy juice in the candle. There's gotta be a way to do it. I'm sure. I got it. It's a million dollar idea. So you know they already do pussy molds, right? Yeah. So we do a pussy mold out of a candle. Or like a or like a sponge, like a pussy safe sponge. No. A sponge in there. No, look, we gonna we gonna make a candle. Out. Molded of the pussy. You hold it like you this when you squirt and when And the candle is also going to have some of the juices of the pussy. So the candle look you, and smell like the pussy that you want and it just burns. Where are you keeping that bottled juice? Like, I know. This it's got to be fresh. This nigga yeah, puts, that's what I'm saying. It's got, yeah, it's got to be fresh. Juice. How long does it last? Like, you got to make the candle immediately. Like, that's probably like the last step. That's <laughs> probably like the last step in the process. Like, you get the whole shit ready and you be like, all right. Kyle going to put that me. shit in his breakfast smoothie. No, man. <laughs> I like pussy for breakfast. Get a fuck. You gonna put that shit in oh a smoothie? God. You've never had pussy juices for breakfast, you or missing out on like? Never had any. That shit better breakfast. than mimosas. <clears throat> so, um, music. Here's what you do if you want pussy for Uh-oh. breakfast. Bottomless mimosas. <coughs> bottom. My theory is <coughs> bottomless mimosas equals the bottom of her pussy. Wow. It never fails. I ain't gonna lie, mimosa pussy is definitely different. It hit the regular drunk Momo- mimosa pussy. Wait, you never had, oh, of course, you never had mimosa pussy. <laughs> like, you never fucked a nigga after having like mimosas for brunch and shit? No, all? I've just gone home and gone to sleep. What? Yeah. That mimosa pussy is fire. Yeah, that shit hit different. It hit different than wine. Like, wine drunk, <laughs> liquor drunk, and then there's mimosa different. pussy, and mimosa pussy might be up there. Like, not better than tequila. <sighs> mimosa pussy is just different. Can't explain it. Oh, it's just okay. different. It's like a sensual nasty. Cause you definitely get filthy, but it's still like yeah. Sensual tequila sex is the worst, the nastiest. Sex, it's just I think. And we we just fucking we destroying shit in the house. Yeah, you, like <laughs> that's just aggressive as fuck. It's not aggressive. It's just nasty as fuck. Well, that's yeah. how it's supposed to be anyway. Yeah. Tequila made me aggressive. Does it? It does. I'm it never... makes me aggressive, but like nasty. Like I'd be like looking at myself different. Like you's a nasty bitch. And I know it's the like, Kayla. Aggressive. We got, we got aggressive to the point where, like, like, we're driving home from the club and I'm not waiting until we're getting home. I'm going to just pull over into this neighborhood <laughs> and we go going to fuck in the back of the That's car. good. But, yeah, it's just. That's it's just, good. That's not a bad thing. I'm not waiting. You got to have a, a nice size back seat these days. No, you new? don't. You don't. No, you don't. Yeah. Nigga, I was this size fucking in the back of a two door Chevy Cavalier getting rocks off beat. You can do some shit. I mean, that was, shit. You know, I was back in like 2004, but at the same time, the fact. I fucked in the Chevy Cavalier before too. It's crazy. Well, I had a but. Chevy Cavalier, but I never. Uh, <laughs> See, this is why everybody think we fucking. But mine had four doors. <laughs> so. No, I definitely had a two door job. Mine had four doors. Yeah, the one I was in had a. It was a four door. I have fucked in the back of coupes before though. People stop doing that shit when they get older, man. Like when you get older, you stop doing the wild shit that you used to do when you were younger. But why? It's gotten for me. It's gotten better with age. I think when I was because most of the times when I you didn't want to do. But, so yeah, I, I mean, in my thirties, I was like, "Oh shit, I ain't living. It's time." But nah, most of the shit when you young, like, you fucking the back of the cars because you don't have no place to fuck. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You don't yeah. have nowhere to go. But it was still fun. Like that shit yeah. was still exciting. So I mean, why now that you you can park in your own fucking driveway and just fucking the car? 
You know what I'm saying? You ain't got a partner where you might get arrested. No, I get what you're even saying. Even though the thrill of might say, possibly get arrested. Get yeah, yeah, even the thrill of getting caught is probably a little more exciting. Yeah. I feel you. So we on the same shit, but. Yeah. Like, you got to, I think you got to go back to doing the shit that you did when you, you were young. If we in the driveway, we might as well be on the hood. Let the neighbors see. What they going to do? Call the cops? This is my, facts. This is my fucking property. For facts. <laughs> like, <laughs> you're not going to tell me what to do on my fucking property. Yo, as I look back on it. I love Pam being here because this sex talk just goes so much better. Because I'm, yeah, not, having, I'm not having sex talk with just two niggas. Yeah, that's, that's it. That's why we don't do it. <laughs> it's just yo. As I look back on niggas it, in younger years, yo, I could have went to jail for some shit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like we was fucking in cars parked in the school parking lot. Like no, I did that. Just, yeah, I did that shit. So all right, where the craziest? I think mine was probably a what, church, church. craziest place you've had sex. I think with my not craziest did crazy. You say church? Yeah, I fucked it. Not not in oh. church itself. I tried to get some ass in the church bathroom before, but I was young. I was like, oh, I was like 15. God. I didn't want to be there anyway, but I was like 15. Yeah. But no, yeah, it was like a church parking lot after hours. I know people who go in the graveyard because they know that police don't patrol it. I'm going to let you know. They're probably going to patrol it after this episode yeah. if they listen. But yeah, I know police don't patrol graveyards. So a lot of people go into like the back area of graveyards because, yeah. Like I say, police don't patrol back there. Never so. done that. That makes sense, though. Yeah. That's just... Um, so you hear a knock on the window and you look up and ain't nobody out there. Pretty much. <laughs> that should have fucked you up. I'm going <laughs> to let you go first because I feel like my answer might be a little bit wild. I don't think yours. I... Not, I haven't had sex, like... Not in anyway. the... When I say craziest place, I don't mean, like, just some outlandish shit. Just the craziest place, like, for you, like... Probably, like, the lifeguard tower in, at the beach. Oh, uh, I... That's one. I think we've been night. There. Yeah, but I'm it was there, yeah. but we were naked and then there was other people saw me naked. So then it was a bunch of naked people. Fuck that's right lit, nigga. Yeah. 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 Fuck is yeah. That's lit. So like yeah. hedonism in Jamaica. Yeah. <laughs> I'm definitely trying to go there. That's all my That yeah. shit sound lit we as hell. Shut that shit up. Yeah, I'm trying to go. <laughs> um so I've actually done both of those. Mm -hmm. I fucked in the church parking lot after hours. Oh, what is wrong with y'all? Because so, it's certain Jesus places that, that you know you're not going to get caught. And yeah. it's certain times, like, even with the thrill of getting caught, it's cool. I'm not scared of Jesus. But it's, we're not going to get on the Jesus talk right now. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, but, no, it's a, church is a place where you know you're not going to get caught. Because when have you ever seen the cops sitting in the church parking lot? Uh, let me rephrase that. Because let me, not, let me not lie on myself. I didn't actually fuck in the church parking lot. I started to. But then it got interrupted. So I had got to the point where I was getting a hand job. It was it was going to that route. Oh my god. It just it, it take it like it was a long story. So but at the end of the day, it was going that route. The hand job didn't even get finished. Like it the whole story itself is just wild as a motherfucker. Wow. I'll tell you the whole story. So um so yeah, I got a hand job in the church parking lot. I definitely had sex in the lifeguard tower at night. Um my wildest shit and nobody so it's two of them. I've had sex twice while driving on the interstate. I want to try that. I've had sex twice while driving on the interstate. Like, I got hit on, on the interstate. I've never had sex on the interstate. On 64, 264. Like, I'm driving and she just gets on top of me and she starts riding. How did you see around Cruise her? control. It was, both times were late at night. So that also is a benefit because there's not a lot of cars on the road. Wow. Was well, she's like skinny? Like um, slim? One, it was actually two different women. This happened twice. Um, one was, one wasn't. Hmm. But you just put the car on cruise control. And fortunately, like I said, it's not a lot of cars at night. I know yeah. 64, I know 264, so it's just, you know what I'm saying, it's just straight Yeah, because I knew, I knew you ain't, I, I automatically so, assumed it was night, because daytime. Yeah, is, that's wild. Virginia traffic oh, damn, is that's fucking, I have shit got, like, is terrible. I've gotten hit in daytime traffic, too. So. No, but having sex in traffic would be amazing. Yeah, that'd be different. I mean, I, head in traffic is, I, I've gotten head in traffic. I got head in the, uh, in the Captain D's, uh, like, the drive through line. So road trip, we was taking a road trip. I swear to God, strike me dead. Last time I saw you, we went to Captain D's. Y'all know these filthy freaking Captain D's. Wow, <laughs> that's the real D's filthy together. part of this story. Number one, that's not the last time I saw you. And number well, when we were like, it do sound like y'all be fucking mad at you. I mean, you we don't it. though, like. <laughs> We don't. The scenarios, right? Like every every wild scenario, y'all baby. I got a memory with Pam Fucking in that beige. same situation yeah. without the sex, like and, and people, nobody believes it. Y'all baby would be translucent. It'd be definitely clear, but Pam? it's bad because he's definitely seen everything I have. Like he's seen everything. It's friends, man. Yeah. How many of us have? No, them want friendly pictures, <laughs> friendly videos that I sent. <laughs> seen it all. Sorry. <laughs> it was not friendly. Um, so the wildest place that I think it ever happened was 
It was Norfolk State graduation. So the graduation, wow. the graduation was going on in the graduation building. As I say this, my mother calls me, of course. <laughs> must be talking about yeah. hey mom hey mom <laughs> um so norfolk state graduation the graduation was going on in one building she had to go to the bathroom so we went to a building that was right across the like the little hall at the street she was like yeah i want a quickie so we ended up fucking in the bathroom like while graduation was going on so people were still coming in and out because it's the only bathroom That's dope. it was dope till she squirted on my black pants so here's the scenario i gotta so you know i'm dark-skinned I had on this bright ass pink button up with a tie because the tie was fire and I had some black pants. Squirting all my black pants. So now I gotta walk. First of all, graduation's over by the time we finish. So like everybody stayed outside. So we gotta go see the person that we were seeing graduate. Squirting off. So I got this big like white stain on my pants. <laughs> <laughs> and it's our homegirl. So our homegirl knew. She was like, Y'all niggas been fucked. Like, really? Y'all was fucking during my graduation? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. When, like when you younger, that's like a badge of honor. No, no, that was she was embarrassed. Cause what the squirting thing? I'm standing no, in front just of to have, parents, just to have her like her nut on your pants, like her the you know that white shit. Yeah. On the outside of your boxes or some yeah. shit, like that was like a badge of honor. Yeah. To like not, when you but when not you to younger. Walk around a graduation. Yeah, no, that's no. <laughs> that's wild. I gotta speak to people's parents <laughs> and shit, like. <laughs> <laughs> just tell them you was eating some queso fries. I don't know what I told them. I, it was some bullshit, but. <laughs> Our friend knew, like the friend we were there. You gotta, the you she gotta was, say some shit like, that's y'all like. Y'all that's, she's like, y'all niggas are fucking nasty. Like, yeah, no, you gotta say some shit that's so unbelievable that they have to believe you. Like, yo, I couldn't find a napkin and I had to blow my nose. Some shit. That, yeah. That's it. yeah. So, would you rather that or cool. would you rather them think you a fucking pervert? The perv. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna think the perv. No, me be. I, I mean, be, I don't I'd rather care. be a pervert than just dirty. I'm talking about, I'm talking about for him. If, if you gonna hide the shit, you yeah. might as well fucking. There was no hiding it there. Yeah. Receipts was there. <laughs> <laughs> Go the extra fucking mile. I want to know where the wildest place y'all have ever had sex was. We never really ask our followers and the people who listen. So yeah, when y'all get a chance, comment and let us know. I want to know where the wildest yeah. place y'all ever fucking was. Yeah, no, I be trying to. I might up. need to try some shit. Yeah, I be trying to Yo. set up for the matter of fact. Send us y'all. Um, Y'all questions and shit. We gonna start doing the, the ask segments. Yeah, we do. We need some new sex. From my Wednesday questions, definitely yeah. two people that I know got pregnant trying some shit, and somebody commented, <laughs> I and was, I felt I bad. I wasn't the advice. And I was like, wow. <laughs> if your advice is getting people pregnant, I don't want no parts. Me of included. So it's, it's <laughs> yeah, I don't want no motherfucking. I'm getting a vasectomy in 2020. Yeah, this you gotta do. Snip me. See, I thought about it, but I'm pretty sure. Oh God, if I get my tooth out, I'm probably gonna be a whore. I'm not even gonna do it because I, I don't even, get my thing shot up all the time. I don't even want to be a whore, but I would like to not have to pull out. And we already I'm know how we're a whore, just maybe a small hoe. And we <laughs> a small, a hoe? small hoe, just, just a, a little hoe. hoe. You can't build a housewife without a hoe. If you spell a whore housewife, yeah, you, you can't have, spell house, you have a housewife, hoe home. You need a hoe and all that shit, homie. Mm. None of that shit. You Re- need a hoe. Look, you retired hoes make the best women. Yeah. Retired hoes make the best women help. Like when she's like, all right, I done been through my whole phase, I'm good. I didn't get one. <laughs> That's my problem. Like 2019 was going to be my whole year and I got pregnant. And, and so you weren't a hoe, you were just freaky. You were just. Yeah, but that's the thing. Like when I'm freaky, I'm freaky with yeah. that one person. I get it, I get it. Yeah, so it's my, my problem. I never got a hoe stage. If you would have let me be, you could have at least said you was a hoe. I'm not going to. Just so you can say you had a. Just so you can say you went through your whole phase. How would that have made me a hoe? It wouldn't have, but you could have you, you could have just made some uh, that would have oh. been. You might be right at that limit. Yeah, like that's that what I'm saying. Like, so that body limit, I don't know. You teeter on the line, there. so it's like you could say you was going through a hoe phase, but you wasn't actually a hoe. You were just going through a phase. And then I would have got that hoe phase. I'm not even gonna lie. I hear so many stories, and they're great. I'm like, wow, I didn't get that. I think everybody deserves a hoe phase. Though. They do. If you like, as women, men, like everybody needs a hoe phase. You have to go through it in life. I, I wanted one. I just never but, got one. Here's what I see about a lot. So of So I have to do it before it's too late because I've never had a hoe phase yet. So I've never been through. Yeah. <laughs> I've never. So. Okay, back to what you were saying. Because I don't believe that. What? what are you talking about? I'm wholesome. You know what? Motherfucker. I actually believe. I've known him for a while, but I actually believe that he really hasn't had a whole phase. Or maybe it was just that my whole phase was so much of being a whore. Like, I was a whore. No. A whore. You got a little black youngster with a little whore. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I was See, a whore. My thing is, like, 
I didn't have so a whole phase. It's just, I mean, a few people knew a few people because Virginia is little. It's, it's like, very little. It's, it's small. Yeah. Virginia is small. It is. Yeah. So, that, so it, it makes me look a certain way to certain people, but it ain't my fault that y'all fucking Facebook friends and just know each other and shit. Who? Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> you made my lighter break on that shit. <laughs> Who? I'm going to save you by saying that everybody deserves a whole face. They do. Everybody. Yeah. Like, I've never had a one-night stand. I've never done any of that. You've no. never had a... Because I overthink it. I overthink it. That's probably why it hasn't never So happened. you make them fuck again the next day, then you get rid I've of them. I've never no. met somebody the first day. Like, but you know what? It's not really abnormal because from my conversation with women, what I see is that a lot of women, like, in their earlier years were trying to be faithful. And I'm, be I'm just down that, and but yeah. I'm, like, or, You know what I'm saying? Loyal. Not necessarily faithful, but loyal. Yeah, exactly. and that's why a lot of them end up wilding out now. In their early their, third, yeah, their like, mid thirties, their early forties, because they didn't have it when they yeah, were I didn't twenty get it, but to thirty. I'm still like nasty, but I like to be nasty with that one person, not a whole bunch of people. And I like raw sex, so you don't want to be having raw sex with a bunch of people. You can't. You can. You I just can. don't want. No, to, I'm saying I like, you, you can't. I yeah, mean, you, you can, can, but you. So I like yeah, nasty Kyle. raw sex, and I want to do that with one person. Yeah. Everybody not yeah, going to be levels too. First of all, when I had my horror phase, <laughs> this was in the early two thousands, like. Diseases weren't rampant as they were now. <laughs> <laughs> I it's luckily, even now. during my whole phase, like I can say that I've never been burnt. God is good. You know what I'm saying? Amen. Yeah, you no, can check my never. documentation all the way back. So it's never. Good. I get tested on the regular because yeah. I don't Hell like to yeah. wear condoms. Fact. You got yeah. to. Yeah. And at, least, at least, now, I don't sleep around. Yeah, that's like, a fact. I'm older now, and at least we're getting tested. Like if something was to transpire, God forbid, but you know, yeah, no, like, and I'm not a trifling nigga. Like if I if I got something. Bitch, I can sit out the game for two weeks. Yeah, and take whatever pills I need to take, and I jump and, in the and, game. Like, and, and and I'm back in business. Back in game. That's what that's what I don't understand about people. Like, if you're burning, my nigga, a lot of times you got to sit out the game for two weeks. Like, sit out. Yeah, niggas have gone two weeks without getting pussy sit, before. Like, with no problem. <laughs> like, sit out. Like, don't I don't take, know what don't it is about. Pussy that's out here. Hello? Yeah, I don't know what okay, it is about yeah. that where niggas like, you know what? I'm burning, but I'm horny as a motherfucker. I'm about to go fuck all these. Uh, yeah, I don't give a fuck. I'm still going <laughs> like, fuck baby. This bitch still coming over tonight. I'm still going to hit her. Some selfish shit. Yeah, I mean, you do some shit like that. I feel like whatever repercussion happens to you, happens to you. Yeah. Like, so she got them catch you in public and smack you in the back of the fucking head with a brick. I don't, like I say, I don't believe in overreactions, yo, because it's like, don't do dumb shit and dumb shit won't happen. True. Yeah. That's so you, pretty much it. So. But yeah, uh, so moving on to music. Neptunes. They are reuniting. Like the whole Neptune. I heard. Chad Hugo, Pharrell. What's the third nigga name? Don't nobody fucking know. <laughs> I forgot, and I'm a Virginia nigga to the bone, and I forgot the, the third nigga name. You know the third nigga name in that too? Be like the third nigga. Get your money and don't be in the way. Hmm. Fuck it. Nigga don't got no fame. Mm, you can, nothing. We probably seen this nigga earlier today at goddamn Walmart. Wouldn't even know it was him. He rich as a motherfucker. Mm -hmm. That's how life should be. But no, nah, man, I'm, I'm excited. Like, nigga. You know what? That, that for real and Chad. Yeah, that brings up something good for something in the water, though. That means something in the water is going to be official. Like, man. That's gonna be crazy. I'm just confused about the six days. So when is the concert? Friday. Like it's, it's the same as last year. How they gonna do it? Um, just the no, weekend. No, last year wasn't six days. No, it's the weekend. It's just the weekend no. portion of it. There's, they got this thing in Atlanta called Atlanta something something conference. It's like A3C. Yeah. Um. So what it is like? They usually start on Monday or Tuesday. But what it is, they run like a bunch of different panels and showcases. Yeah. They just oh. they do they do a bunch of shit like gotcha. that. For them. Yeah. Like I don't want to call it bullshit because it's, it's not, not bullshit. bullshit. No. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's their, no, because I was, like networking events kind of. Yeah, yeah. And I was gonna say they do a bunch of bullshit during the week, but yeah. I don't want to make I don't want to call it bullshit not, yeah. and and people actually think it's me saying it's bullshit. I mean, but they do a bunch of <laughs> they do a bunch of different activities and events during the week, but the the concert doesn't start until Friday. So it's Friday, so Saturday, that were Sunday. Being sold were for the concert half. It's for all of it, but it's for all of it. But you can't get into concert without that wristband. Gotcha. You can get into the other shit without the wristband, I believe. But that's you, what they like to tell you. You can get into the other shit without the wristband, I believe, but you cannot get into the concert without. Some the people wristband. had no proof different last year. Don't you just gotta get on your balcony of a hotel? All those hotels. I mean, if, you can if you if you know somebody that um. That, the that, hotels that are down there are sold out. They've been sold out. Yeah. 
and they were running ridiculous prices. I work so close down there. I'm just not oh. looking forward to it because it was crazy in there last year. Like, like be. yeah, I um, we got lucky last year. We were way off topic, mm-hmm. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. So um, nah. So next time we're getting back together, and they working with new and old artists. Which is dope. They got Megan. in the I studio. I saw Meg in the studio. Yeah. I was like excited. That's gonna yeah, be that's gonna, gonna, be gonna be crazy. Fire. That's gonna yeah. be crazy. Man, and salute to um salute to them for fucking with like new people while they while they hot. Not like you know what I'm saying. I mean they have when no, they solidified, like cause you know Pharrell don't usually fuck with new people, bro. You got you got to though. But Pharrell usually don't. He kind of niggas to that his guns and the shit. The people that he fuck with are no longer relevant. But that doesn't I don't know. I mean, Push is still relevant, but he's he's gonna give Push a one beat for his yeah, album, but, maybe. But Push it drops it, exactly like every, every three, four every three, four. Year. Yeah, so, so he don't. It ain't like Push it drops music every fucking year. Capone's not rapping yeah. like that. Jay Z's not rapping like that. Like they're just or not the Capone, nor they they're just they the same nigga. Bro. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, but the niggas that he was fucking with back in the day just aren't relevant anymore. But so that doesn't mean, yeah, <laughs> but that doesn't mean that he can't still yeah. be relevant. So he got to work with these new people, and he can get these old people some life. Like, if Nori wanted to drop an album, if you tell me that Nori album is produced by the Neptunes, I'm going to listen to it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, because Nori, it's safe to, fuck's, fuck's being safe to say, Nori is the reason why the Neptunes are who they are. He was the first thing I heard around with the Neptunes. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, like, I ain't going to say he made him because, I mean, talent speak for itself, but he was the nigga that put him on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because... When Pharrell was doing the shit for Teddy Riley, like, he wasn't, Teddy wasn't, like, bigging Pharrell up. Like, he won't making him who he is. Like, when that motherfucking, oh, no, oh, when all that shit was driving, yeah. that shit was crazy. Like, niggas ain't heard no beats like that back then. That shit was, that shit was different. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, Nori and then, of course, you know, the, the crazy shit I seen on the shit, um, I think it was the Memphis Bleak, um, Interview on drink champs and shit. He was saying how uh, he was he tried to get hove to fuck with Pharrell, and that first hove was like, "Nah, I'm good." For real? Wow. Cause this was this one Pharrell was new. He wasn't Pharrell. He was just he was just a young nigga on the grind trying to come up. And then um, I forgot how he said they intertwined, but Nori was in the studio with Jay when he heard Pharrell beat, and he was like. Hov was in there going crazy. Nori was like, nigga, I fucking told you about this nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I do remember that. <laughs> like, nigga, I was trying to tell you about this nigga. I do remember that. So, but just being here in VA, definitely glad to hear that they getting back together. I'm sure any any RD is gonna be at the something in the water next year. You think he's on the end friends? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Oh, it'd be nice. I think Beyonce's gonna be there. Meg might perform. be there. I mean, she kind of has to be because that's the only person that I can think of. Yeah, I, I mean, I've Jay. heard last year. He got enough money. But I don't even know. Say. Does well, see, now, does Beyonce have any Neptune's produced songs? I'm sure. Laptop. I'm sure. <clears throat> I'm about to look it up. I'm sure. And if they don't, I can see one being dropped between now and then. And that shit gonna be crazy. Hey, speaking of Beyonce, yo, that I have you seen it, Pam? Or the Adidas line? The, the Ivy Park, Park line? Oh, my God. Yo, that line is it. fire. It is. It really is. And everything is sold out. Like, I'm single single. You got to get on, like, the waiting list. But I looked, now at, I'm single, like, I looked at that, that lineup, and I was awesome. like, hey, I'm about to buy this for somebody's daughter. Like, yeah. Especially if you like Kirby and got a little ass. That shit is going to be Oh, the everything. Work It Out shit from um, Austin Powers. <laughs> you don't remember that? I do remember. Oh. I remember the song because the song was popping. Like, yeah, it was, yeah. It was the top song. So yeah, that's that's that was that's, a Neptune show. That's the only one that's coming up. So it, it wouldn't surprise oh, me. Oh no, if, I'm lying. Kitty Cat, she they did Kitty Cat, and they back in the studio. So it wouldn't surprise me if Beyonce gave you a Neptune's produced song between now and something in the water. And she popped up. I mean, she was here last year. She just didn't perform. Yeah, and then all the rest of the shit that they did, it was just for real. It wasn't the Neptune. I can't so. like that. Meg shit was stupid. Yeah, it really is. Who else you think up there? You think it's just her? Well, for the and friends. Yeah. No, I'm talking about the the song that, because I haven't heard it. I don't think it's out. Is it out yet? No, they just have a little clip of like them working in the studio together. together. Oh, yeah. So you think it's just her? Yeah. yeah. Like Meg rapping for real on the hook doing yeah. the. 
I think he just do the fuck. I think he might even just do the I think he's just doing the beat. But like, you know what? They probably dropped a couple songs. I seen like two clips. They I don't said, think they were she said they were in the studio for three days. Yeah. But see, but that's so, but they say that's how Pharrell is. So they Pharrell say he don't did. just do once like yeah. they say that nigga locks in, he locks in. So he probably did jump on the hook or something. Yeah. He but, might they say Pharrell might make you do five so. or six songs but only release one. Yeah. But I believe, but I believe all five in the songs probably be some heat, yeah. Of course. So. I can't think of nothing for real drop that he produced that he was behind that wasn't yeah, dope. It's an Neptunes. Like, them niggas ain't gonna just put out no trash. Yeah. It's probably some heat from fucking 10 years ago that we never heard that's better than some of the best shit. They just never dropped it. Pam, you could have been Meg this Stallion if you was rapping. I'd be trash. <laughs> I, I told <laughs> Pam my ghostwriter for, ghostwriter for her. That is the good thing about Meg is that Meg is not trash. She's not trash. <laughs> Her body is amazing. I don't it think she's the cutest. Yeah. I told Pam I goes right for her. I think she think I was bullshit. I'd be trash. Y'all hold it down. Give me two seconds. Oh, you got a pussy calling. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he lying. But I think yeah. I'll be trash as a rapper. Nah, somebody write that shit for you. First nah. of all, I'm too cheesy for that. Could you imagine? <laughs> Talking about some hardcore gangster <laughs> shit with a big ass smile on my face. Nobody would believe me. Nah, that's... That's that's even more lit. Nobody would believe if you <laughs> if you do that shit smiling. Like nigga, I'm gonna kill you. They gonna think I'm crazy. That's that's gonna sell the shit. You gotta just if you gonna do that, you gotta rap some like some Eminem type shit. What is your thing with Eminem? No, cause th- that's a crazy nigga. That's what I'm saying. So you gotta rap some like some if you gonna rap some gangster shit smiling. You got it. Gotta be some like some wild shit. He doesn't seem gangster to me though. I didn't say he was gangster, but if you gonna say some crazy shit. Cause he says gangster shit, but we know Eminem. This nigga's like one, what, one thirty? Isn't he little? He little as fuck. I ain't saying he pussy, but we know he's not no gangster. Yeah. Like he never portrayed himself to be though. Know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah. I'm a little gangster myself. I am. <laughs> I don't do that. I am. You don't right. think I? You don't think I'm? No, I'm gonna wait till Kyle come back, and I'm, I'm, I'm. I'm 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 not gonna let you know Pam's gangster. <laughs> I think legend. I might be a little gangster. I will not make any comments on Pam's gangster. I think it takes. I ain't gonna lie. I've seen Pam do some like semi gangster shit. I don't think Pam is necessarily gangster. I believe that Pam is crazy. I like, do have some crazy. Like, like almost. Yeah, yeah bro. She uh, threatens to kill me like every day over nothing. You know what I'm saying? And I believe she really do that shit. Yeah, I, I would take her life. Doesn't mean <laughs> <her gangster. laughs> she's, she's just crazy. You know what made me just believe her now? Because the average nigga be like, nigga, I kill you. She said, I will take your life. I'll take your life. Let her come with me. Like, nigga, that's, that's real. Like, I'll take your life. Yeah. Is your little sister crazy like you? Yeah, she a little worse. He just fell in love. <laughs> <laughs> and we back. <laughs> Party back. <laughs> and Party we, uh, interruption. We are back. <laughs> there was a lot going on. All three of us had issues. Yeah, yeah. we had to. Uh, <laughs> I think I had the biggest issue out of everybody. Life right. comes at you fast sometimes. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> all, I, all I can say is the shit that happened to me happened twice today. Wow. <laughs> Not that. Huh. That only happened to me once. And she still won't let me be. That's fucked up. When, you, when, when it happens, you let off early, and then it's just like she don't want no parts no more. Like you gotta, you gotta let a nigga get his get back. No, you don't. Yes, the fuck. No, you don't. That's fucked yeah, up. Yeah, if you let, if a nigga, the first time if a nigga let off early, you gotta give him. You gotta depends, give him his get back. Though, it depends on how y'all are, because if it's like some first time shit. That's yeah. what I'm saying. It's, it should be the first, like. The first. <laughs> I mean, I, okay, I hear different things. I hear if it's quick, then it's like a good thing, and if it's too Facts. long, then it's trash. No, it's not even that. It ain't. I, I don't. Niggas as a nigga who really little. enjoys fucking, I I don't put time limits on that shit. I don't put time limits on yeah. either, but I didn't had great pussy that lasted for yeah. an hour just because that shit was fucking amazing, and I didn't want to come up out of it. So I don't really go based on that. But yeah, if a nigga shoot off quick the first time <laughs> y'all have sex, this is probably a lot of anticipation and shit. Like, yeah, a way to get it, and that's what that's all it was. And it may it may also be combined with that shit is good. Yeah, but, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. So I think you gotta give a nigga a second chance. And what I we don't understand that, that our dicks don't work too. like y'all pussies work. Like, if we shoot off that first time, our dick might not get back up that night. Like, it might be it. Y'all pussies get wet all night. That yeah. shit is a competition for me. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nah, if it ain't, I'm gonna get it back. I ain't with <laughs> yeah. that shit. It ain't over till I say it's over. Like, give me 15 but, minutes and some water. Like, let me, <laughs> like, water? Let me recuperate real I'm fat. quick. Like, <laughs> 
It's like nah. I know I'm fat, so I keep Excuse a child me. close by while I have sex. <laughs> to this guy. Oh boy. Yeah. That's what I learned from being big and fucking. You gotta keep the towel close by. What's the towel for? Because I sweat. Everybody sweats during yeah. sex. You should, but you don't want sweat dripping in your eye and shit. I yeah, had to have before. That's like the old sweat burn. Room. That's like the old burn. I had to have before. A pumping and a sweating. That's some good shit. <laughs> but yeah, who's? It's over there. That's you, bro. That ain't me. That's, That's Pam me. shit. Oh. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> It's over there. But yeah, um, what else we got on the topic? Today? Where we was we? <laughs> Where we were supposed to talk about the threesome <laughs> etiquette. No, that's that's our main topic. So we, I'm saying, so where was we? We were talking about the Neptunes working with Meg. <laughs> yeah, we off that because that shit was. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. We had got some music. <laughs> that was it. Um, um. Oh yeah. Uh. So tax time is here. While we taxes are gonna be jumping this while year. While we on the music, so you let like Jaru do your taxes. No. <laughs> no, he got, no, he got a tax company for real. Why would he think anybody would give him this business? Give him their business. I wouldn't give him my business. Fuck that. I just want to fucking up the money. Dependents I can claim. You can I only claim what three anyway. Yeah, that's fine. I only got one currently. That means I got room for two. I don't give a fuck who doing the taxes. That should have come back, all right? Yeah, I got three now. I, I, don't, I don't qualify for the earned income credit, which is some bullshit. Why? I'm not going to state this specific stipulation as to why I do not. I was just saying that yeah. I don't qualify for it. So, I mean. People get the wrong idea when you start stating stipulations. You're like, oh, yeah. he's a Nah. <laughs> so, that's just unfortunately I don't qualify for it. Yeah. So, okay. God came through so with minus the fire festival, why y'all don't trust Jaru with y'all taxes? That's it. <laughs> it's fucking Jaru. Yeah. You're like. I just don't see any. No, but it might be a legitimate company. It might be a legitimate company. He might not be the nigga that's behind. I don't think he's the nigga that's behind well, his name desk. on it. I ain't, no. I think he would. I think he just he owns the company. Nope. I'll take Donald Trump to do my taxes before I take Jaru. I'll of take. Course. I'll let Mo Money taxes do my taxes. Before. Mo Money was the worst. Mo. Them niggas was trash. Uh, no. no. To the people who aren't from the Hampton it wasn't Rose just Hampton Rose. They wasn't even giving niggas their money. They, they were in Hampton Tennessee Rose. and Alabama too. But it was all over. Yes, it wasn't just here. Mo Money was a tax place that was doing people. Number taxes one, and taking the why money. the fuck? All they fucking money. They, why the fuck would you trust a company called Mo Money Tax? Because nigga, you gonna get more money with the fuck? Yeah. That shit sound good as a bitch. It does. Uh, sound when good. I heard that, I think of the movie Mo Money. What was they doing? They were scamming. They were scamming. That's the first thing that came to my mind when I see think of Mo money is the fucking said, niggas in the hood that shit sounds gaming amazing. and marlin yeah. scamming niggas and you know what that shit was in the middle of the fucking hood like well, it was right there on little yeah. tree in that the shit was the in the middle yeah. of norfolk no <laughs> matter of fact them niggas you mean was, you, i can walk down your my taxes then no they might have been it. the first when the scamming the, really started the, the yeah. movie well not the not the tax i'm talking about the, the movie, movie more money that was that was the first like thing about scamming and scammers wasn't it credit card scamming yeah them niggas was the first swipers maybe amongst black people yeah. yeah, of course. Shout out to the Waynes. They do a lot of great things. Mm -hmm. Them niggas were swiping before swiping was a thing. Swiper, no swiper. <laughs> them niggas were, <laughs> them niggas were swiping cars. Swiper, no swiper. They were swiping yeah. cars in the 90s. They were. But yeah, I'm, yeah I'm, I'm definitely, uh, I don't know, man. Ja Rule, it might be, no. it might be legit. I don't no. even trust Ja Rule to make records anymore. Why the Fetch. fuck would I tell you my no. taxes? It's like, that's out. Y'all ready? You know what, B? I'll do my own taxes. I, I guess mean, not. I did mine last year. I'm going to do mine this year, too. Turbo tax? I no. Let, free tax, uh, USA .com. Oh, I'll let Ron Isley do my taxes. You, pay, you do, do pay uh, for your state, which is like twelve sixty five. Yeah. I mean, you you gotta, you gotta you even got to pay on Turbo, too. Yeah, but $12. I'll pay $12. No, you balling. Niggas, niggas is getting thousands. Of course you're going to pay 10 yeah. You're going to fuck about $12. Yeah. I owe every year. Fuck taxes. About to buy me a llama. Only rich niggas say that. Llamas is fire, yo. I'm going to buy a llama. Well, I'm just fine. Nigga about to have a whole llama farm nah, out of Rich niggas say shit like, I don't pay taxes. I'm trying to get that level of rich. Jay Z don't pay fucking taxes. Donald Trump don't pay taxes. Nah, when you owe every year, that the means NFL you don't get, pay taxes. That like, means you in a different tax bracket. You getting that money. That yeah, means, that's real. That, that means your money management is poor. <laughs> you, you claiming the wrong shit. This nigga claiming nine every yeah. year. <laughs> I went non exempt the whole year being out. <laughs> now, I do that when, um, when I get more hours. Than I usually get. Oh yeah, when that bonus check hit, I definitely find naughty. And I do it around my birthday time. Yeah, I need, you're I need not, all you're not a real nigga. If you get a bonus <laughs> check and you don't find naughty, you're not a real nigga at all. 
Fast. And, and and your birthday week. Like that check that oh, you yeah, got your birthday, that. you gotta have that. The money from your sugar mamas, is mm. that tax? Mm. That's no, that's different. That's off the books. That's different. Oh, that's that's cash. Thing. That's cash in hand. Oh. That's cash in hand. At least he's admitting to it. Yeah, you really just Hypothetically. Did. No. I mean, no, I mean, I might get some money from sugar mamas and shit, but that's not who take care of. I, I take care of myself. I don't got no woman to take care of. But I would. If any sugar mama want to take care of me, I love me. You just can't look like sugar mama from the Proud family. Oh. <laughs> that's that shit Kyle like. Don't say what? He don't give the a fuck. The old box? I missed the whole conversation. He said you like old box. I don't mind old box. So you a fuck? <laughs> well, she's a cartoon, so that don't count. Never mind. I got I said I, I take a sugar mom as long as she don't look like sugar mama from the proud family. Yeah. I'm not taking no old fifty year old box that look like it's old sixty year old box. Like, now I need like a Holly Berry fifty year old box. Yeah. I I know I know a fire fifty year old. Yeah. Like legitimately. Why you I, making her face like Simon Hayek ain't bad? Matter of fact, I'm not I gonna put it. I just think of just old vagina and it being looking old and wrinkly. I guarantee Simon Hayek vagina don't look old or wrinkly. I I know her pussy pretty. No disrespect mm. to Simon Hayek. I don't know. All thirst, but no disrespect. I don't know. Hold on, I'm about to show you. <laughs> I'm not gonna put it on camera, but I'm be like, would you think that she's really? <laughs> oh, okay. Who else? Uh, Nicole Murphy, bad as shit. Oh, she's beautiful. <laughs> She's she bad as shit. No, I was in, I was in so LA. So you mean to tell me she can't have an ugly box? I doubt she has an ugly box. I know when I was in LA, we was at this motherfucking club. And, um, nigga, she had came in. And I swear to God, like, it was like a unicorn She's walking 50? in this motherfucker. 50. You see? Wow. We gotta keep it away from the camera. <laughs> wow, look at her body. Exactly. Stop it. I'm just fine. <laughs> oh, I mean, oh it's God. fine. He, he about to do it anyway. I, so, <laughs> I'm not going to give y'all the backstory. <laughs> but this is <laughs> moving. This right is somebody along. that, as a 50 year old, I, I can call and we we good. Like, <laughs> wow. Moving right along. Wow. <laughs> and I'm um, okay with it. Yeah, I would be too. <laughs> So when y'all accuse me of hitting, yeah, I do hit 50 and 60 year old. Well, that's yeah. okay. Like, yeah, don't. <laughs> I'm really a different type of nigga, B. <laughs> I ain't fucking with no old ass dude. I'm really a different type of nigga, B. Like Chris, like Chris Neve said, got grown women, my mama age. Fuck me y'all kind of way. Suck and swallow everything. That shit is real. The funny thing is, I've been, we, we had a long, like, break, but I originally met her when she was 38. I was like 22, 23. Wow. To this day, she's the biggest age difference that I've ever had, that I've ever had sex with. Yeah, I mean, when I was... Did she turn you out? Is that the reason why you are the way you are? She taught me how to eat pussy. Okay. That ass. She told me, she, she told me how to eat pussy. That's good. I had an oldest on do that to me, too. That's how I learned. Oldest ain't. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to tell you how I learned. How to eat pussy? No. Not <laughs> Who I taught be, you how to eat pussy? Nah, I've been questioning, like, I didn't have my dick social. Like, God damn, bitch, where did, where did you learn hmm. this shit at? Like, yeah. So who taught you? You, you didn't learn this Who taught you how before? to eat pussy, Pam? Uh, I don't eat it. I eat you never ate pussy before. Exactly. I don't do that. Exactly. <laughs> exactly my that. motherfucking point. You never ate pussy before, Pam? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I've never done that. Where that Bible at? Put her hand on the Bible. Look, she got nervous. <laughs> she put her hand on the tequila, like, oh, well, let me get this out of the way. <laughs> she got super nervous. No, man. I, I'm interested, man. Where did you learn this like dick? I taught myself. <laughs> so this is what happened. Like, was it a combination of like watching videos and then like niggas that you dealt with telling you how no, they like their dicks up? No, it was like my first boyfriend ever, like from high school. And I remember he had this bracelet on his wrist. It was sad. He had a bracelet. And he always had the shit turned inside out. It was like an ID bracelet. So I was like, the fuck is the name inside this fucking bracelet? I thought it was a bitch. So I was like, I give you some head if you let me see the see your bracelet. <laughs> I mean So, um, I did not like I remember giving this nigga head for like two seconds and I was like, that shit was trash. I didn't like it. 
So the whole day I kept thinking about it, like, yeah, this shit was garbage. If you don't outdo yourself, somebody's gonna do it better. So I taught myself. That's a champion. And I was doing that shit for a while. <laughs> I'm about to say, that's, that's an attitude of a winner. <laughs> yeah. She turned into Hobie Bryant. If you never had a woman who suck your dick because it makes her come, like, yeah. you never had a real great dick sucking life. That's real. Yeah. yeah. Nigga, she turned herself into Hobie Bryant. Hobie. Into who? Hobie. Championship. You stupid. <laughs> Uh, my eardrums. I know. Yeah, but no. it was doing that, so I had to get it right. But yeah, yeah, nobody taught me. I taught myself. Yeah, but nah, that that little peps talk speech you gave yourself—that's some Kobe shit. But I'll be like, when? <laughs> if nobody, if you don't do it better, the first, first time I even come along like that, I was yeah. like, the first time I had some pussy, I was like, yeah, like this, this is no, it's yeah. like that, it's like yeah. that video with Shaq when he tasted the wing, mm-hmm. and he was like, ooh, yeah, yeah. Like, how, do, <laughs> how do I get better at this? And she enjoys this? Yeah. <laughs> that I learned. As long as you eat pussy great, like, dick is just a bonus. Facts. I don't even have to fuck you up if I eat your pussy good. Yeah. But it, I want to fuck, though. <laughs> I want to. Yeah. <laughs> That's the crazy thing. I've never been beat for the head. I beat myself for the head. Well, I didn't call her like, look. I've beat some people for the no, head. No, I didn't call her like, look. No, I just, so, I mean, being I beat for the head and... Your intentions was just to eat the pussy and... It's not the same? No. Because beating for the head is, to me, if I'm wrong, correct me. If I'm wrong, correct me. But getting beat for the head is, you call me over, because you the only woman here. So you call me over, you call the nigga over, he come through, he go down, thinking he about to beat, you can get your nut off from the head, and you like, all right, my nigga, have a nice night. Yeah. And he like, whoa, I got dick too. Yeah. And you like, yeah, I'm good. That is definitely beautiful. Like, I don't want the combo meal. I just wanted the head today. That's that's shit get... caught up with me. Got me pregnant. Yeah, I can't ever say I Which got one? beat for the head like that. Neither. That shit helped. That shit. Oh, so he didn't get he didn't get beat for the head, though. He, he did. He, he was beat. getting beat for the shit for a while, and then it got caught up with I was like, him. here's the issue. Like, I, I think the reason I've never gotten beat for the head is if you eat pussy so well, they want dick after They do want it. Yeah, that's real. for sure. Like, that's true. This, I just ate your pussy amazingly. There's no <laughs> way that you don't want to know what this dick feel like. <laughs> Even if you're just one in your mind, like... Wow, is this nigga dick as good as his tongue is? Like, yeah. Even if I do, <laughs> even if you do give some subpar. Yeah, I can get it and be <laughs> trash, but at the end of the day, you wonder, you, in your mind, you be yeah. like, because this nigga ate my and, pussy. And you like, know you're going to beat again <laughs> if you eat pussy good enough. You know you're going to beat again. Yeah. Wait, so let me ask you, because I've heard a lot of women say that no nigga has both. You don't ever get both. That's true. It's, it's rare that. That's why bitches see. be falling in love with me. I gotta stop it. It's shit. rare. It's very Man, rare. You took my line. I was about to say that shit. That's why bitches like. I done had some sex in my life. Cause you know we had you. the conversation that we had earlier yeah. about what happened. You know what I'm saying? So it, I mean, I guess it all makes sense. Like you just not. I can tell you, it's been. It. I done had some sex in my life. I'm not gonna give you a number. I done had some sex, but I say maybe four. Oh, we don't had both. See here on BYOB, we Niggas don't give don't a fuck both. about body counts. They don't have both. We don't give a fuck about body counts on BOI. I'm, no, no, because no maybe four. The reason my face was in shock is because you know women on the internet just be saying shit. Just nah, that's just true. Like, I believe you. That is some true shit. About that's why. Four, and yeah. I had some sex, but I say about four. Niggas didn't have both. The rest of them is one or the other. Hmm. Dick is good or the head is trash. I'm now. I, I'm I can highly admit, happy that I can't relate. I can almost relate because I can almost admit to. Maybe two times where I didn't even want to fuck. Like, it wasn't in my intention. Yeah. But I eat pussy so well that I eat your pussy, so it's going to be great. Yeah. But I really wasn't in the mood to fuck. And it's our first time, so you might have got some B dick. Yeah. B plus dick. It's not that I'm not capable of giving A plus dick. Yeah. No, nah, just but, didn't kick because I wasn't and then, my move. I mean, to keep it 100, sometimes, like. You got hit with the gummy worm. <laughs> half, the half hard oh, shit. not the gummy. You got to hit with the gummy. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't hit a few. I didn't hit a few jokes <laughs> with, with the gummy, gummy worm. worm. I done hit a few joints with the, with the semi. Like that not all the way. <laughs> with the semi gummy. Yeah. I hate that because then you got to try to stuff it. That's how I feel. Every nah. time. That's how I used to feel every time I put a condom on. So like, nah, so what if you, you want me to put a condom on, you're getting the gummy worm. So the best way to do it. I put my balls in that you shit gotta too. Grab the, <laughs> you got to grab the base and squeeze it. So the top would be like, like oh. <laughs> you just, you you the nigga, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that nigga try to put his dick and balls in. <laughs> Cause that's what it is when I put a condom on. Like you gotta get all this, cause you gonna get half dick at this point. Yeah, nah, you gotta just grab it by the base, by the balls, and squeeze it so the the top part at least be hard enough to get in. 
and then you just you oh, gotta too much. you gotta hold it. <laughs> it's too much. It's too, much. It's too it is. But no, I mean, but at the same time, like all right, I'm gonna give y'all tips. So there's there's some involved. joints that you don't you don't give every joint the, the your best performance. True. Some joints you just you just wanna get your nut and you out of there. Yeah, so you're not you're not worried about giving them the best performance and none of that shit. It's not so, about you. Yeah. <laughs> it's about me today. So I can understand it. So I mean sometimes the the the, the whack shit you get might you might be that that one time that the nigga wasn't trying to give his best performance. Mm. It happens. It, it happens. But I mean, I'm not saying you personally. Yo, I'm just saying in experiences to the to the women that you spoke of. The reason why I say give second chances is because I think I might have told this story before. Child's mother, we're great, love her to death. Um, we ended up in a nine year relationship, and the first time that we had sex, that shit did not go well on my part. Yeah. It didn't. So I had to tell her, like, I real life looked in her face and was like, "Hey, this ain't this ain't me. Like, I know what I'm capable of." Call me tomorrow. Like, call me tomorrow, and we, we let us let me make this up to you on some G shit because I know this ain't me. And she took that risk, and she called me the next day, and it worked out. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, because I know what I'm capable of. I had got drunk the night before. I was real fucked up. It was just, it was a lot. Gotcha. So, but that's why I always give people second chances. See, I don't. Because yeah. first time, first time you're nervous. Like, Michael you can get anticipation. Like, you've been waiting to get in that pussy. Like, that thing Damn look right. good. Like, it's, it's a you know you know sex is mental. Yeah. To me, so, if you brag about it, it is, and it's mental to and the it's point. Like, it's, um, it's mental to the point where, nigga, that nut might not even come if you ain't mentally there yeah. enough. I guess I'm saying for me, if it's some trash, like I've had some trash. This nigga bragged, and bragged, and bragged, and this nigga said it was so good. His baby mama was, or not baby mama, his girl was like taking his license plate off his car, taking his car keys and shit, yeah, like keeping him in the crib. I'm like, damn, just to, she might have like, just been. I was like, this is CTE. about to be <laughs> some good. Dick and it was trash and I was like, my nigga, this was trash. But we gotta stop that narrative too, though, because some women are just naturally like fucked up in the head. Like, yeah. it ain't always because of what a nigga do or whatever the case. No, he said e- this was e- for the sex, even like. on the flip side. Like, I mean, of course, that's Dang. if you know, I would say the same shit, but that don't mean that's what what it really is. That was trash. I I kind of agree to this mental, but. I can't say that I've met a woman that I haven't been able to make come. Like, there's a difference between a woman coming and having a full blown orgasm. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So maybe not a full blown orgasm, but I can't say that there's not a woman that I haven't been able to make come, and not a woman that's right. ever said that shit to me. Even in that mad anger argument shit, yeah. like I've never gotten that nigga. You don't fuck with like. So I can't say it's all mental. I don't. Maybe I don't. I don't know. I guess everybody's different. Yeah. There are some crazy bitches in the world. There are some of us. Truth. Um, are we on music? No. <laughs> nah, we on. We on pussy. <laughs> <laughs> sex is nah, real so. life, man. And a lot of people hate to talk about sex. I love it. They don't like. That's what. And that's a problem. Cause I've done the survey. No, they know. act like it's re- they act like it's a taboo shit. But everybody fucks. Everybody has sex. Every like it's even like, nuns is out here. With it. They not supposed to be, but they fucking. When I did a poll of people like of just what you want to hear podcasts about, is just people just don't talk enough about sex. Yeah, it's they cause not real with their own sexual experiences. Like they like to hide a lot of shit. Like fortunately, you got me and Pam. I'm I didn't, yeah, right. yeah, and I don't give a shit. I, at this no. point in my life, I'm old. <laughs> I've done what I've done. I've lived my life, so I'll tell you what I've done because I've yeah. done it. Like, and that's the and that's if the it thing. Ain't, it's not yeah. for everybody. If you don't like I what I out. like, then you don't like what I like. Yeah, that, it's my like a lot of that shit, shit. Shit I've done in the past. Like you know what I'm saying? It's not necessarily that I would do this shit today, but I've done it, so I yeah. understand why people do it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and not even to get sentimental. Like that's why I picked the cast that I picked. Because yeah. before I even started this podcast. Who is the first person I hit? Who, It definitely was you. I know. It was she knew it was fucking her. Like, because I was like, yo, I'm thinking about starting a podcast. What do you think? And she was like, you should do it. You have a real nice viewpoint on shit. I was like, yo, yeah, that's cool, but I need a co-host. Well, you should get somebody that's Pam. I'm fucking talking about you, my nigga. Like, like me? Yes, yo nasty ass. Come yeah. sit on here. That shit is annoying you? No. I oh. mean it is, but you gonna hand it to me. <laughs> oh, yeah, I am. It's my case. But yeah. I figured it might be something important. No, she just bored. 
Yeah, she boy, and she missed me. Yeah, because she done seen your face. This is what the fuck I got to deal with now. <laughs> she love me, that's why. If y'all don't know, me and Pam have a daughter together. You better stop playing. She look like you while you playing. <laughs> For facts. <laughs> she really does. She's my, she's my adopted daughter. I'm not biologically hers, but you know what I mean? That's my baby. Dre, if you want to have a baby, I, I'll talk. I consider having another one. <laughs> Dre, Dre is overdue. Yeah, it's about time. Let's keep she it at babies neither. Dre is an overdue. Mm -mm. No. Dre, I give you a baby. <laughs> Dre is overdue. My kids come out cute too. Yeah, we make cute kids in my family too. I say kid because I only have one. But I got three. Thank you. I consider having one more for you. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga threw the Barry White on. Hey, baby. That's that's why I jumped on the podcast. So that's why I jumped on the podcast. <laughs> I thought Pam was going to be here. I figured, first I of all, I'm, I'm the wild one. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I thought Pam was going to be here. So uh, I just figured she was going to bring some entourage in, in the form of her sister. I was I was walking around one day at work. And lady was like, you have a nice voice. You do a podcast. And I was like, all right, whatever, bitch. Like, I heard it. I just didn't. Like, I, and then you hit me. I was like, oh, yeah, we can do this shit. I say, what the fuck I want to say. Like to nah, the crazy that. shit is, this and nigga was just. No, together. The, the crazy shit, right? So this nigga was just supposed to be a guest one episode. Not real. <laughs> this nigga just showed up the next right, week right, like, yo. Man, what's up? We doing this again? <laughs> I'm here, B. I ain't even hit the nigga. No, he just showed fuck. up the next week. Like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> like, yeah. He was like, yo, what time are you shooting? I was like, yo, I'm shooting at such and such. He was like, back, because I got to come. Holler at somebody. I gotta holler at somebody for something else. And just, I did. Just, I randomly just jumped in the shit. You right in your fact. area, and he was That's like, right. "Yo, That's fact. just so happened to, you know what I mean, come in the back room where we were shooting at, and, and, and sit down at the fucking <laughs> at the mic, and just didn't leave." And the rest is history. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, shit. He's the reason we went viral. The thing, I've, the thing I've never life been is do viral. What you do. Hey, look. I think I told y'all this last week, but <laughs> y'all not gonna keep saying. I've been viral on every fucking social media. Every day. time, every when time. When I seen so, that post, I was like, "Y'all not, y'all not gonna so keep saying we viral without this podcast viral going." As far as just shit that surrounds us, at least three times. He's been viral himself at least six he times. Just talk so much shit. Yo, I don't even. People on social media love to hate me. <laughs> if you love to hate me, follow me on Twitter at ayo eighty proof. That's a y o the number eighty proof because I talk a lot of shit on there. Yeah. Uh, you can't get access to my Facebook because I realized after I went viral on Facebook that there are a lot of weirdos on Facebook. Yeah, yo, Facebook yeah. is like I, I used to think Twitter weirdo. was bad, but I Facebook realized, is where the weirdos are. Yeah, at. I realized Twitter ain't weirdos. Them niggas is just yeah. niggas that's just wild. Yeah, wild. Facebook, Facebook is, is just weird. Is, is really weirdo, yeah. motherfucker. I went viral on Facebook and I've been getting friend requests for the past three weeks. <laughs> Dead ass. Yeah, Facebook. Yeah, Dead them ass. motherfuckers is different. Like y'all can't just watch the video that I posted and just not go. Like, <laughs> yeah. So, um, let's let's go ahead and get into the to the main topic. Threesomes. Yay! So everything about threesomes, etiquette, um, uh, the the right way to do it, the wrong way to do it. It's all obviously motherfucking preferential. So preferential. Which one is it? I don't know. I'm not. You using these big ass? You think you Ti? <laughs> Y'all never seen that interview with the no. with the young rapper nigga? The nigga as he said, um. He was like, yeah, something you drop uh, album simultaneously. He was like, simultaneously. What that word mean? I didn't mean? see that shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> what yeah, yeah, what that, that word mean? What you think, you T.I.? Using these big ass words? It keeps getting more <laughs> real. What we got the ghosts fuck? This nigga Kyle got a fucking ghost in the house. What the Yo. fuck? There's been, some, there's, been some, there's been some souls snatched in the house. <laughs> <laughs> and the souls remain in these walls. Wow. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck was that? <laughs> And I'm going to get a phone call right after this podcast. Like, so what are I you doing tonight? Sage. Yeah. <laughs> I burned the sage with the windows closed. I'm the problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. So, yeah. So, threesome, threesome etiquette. I don't um, I don't have threesome etiquette. There's some rules. Like, I think it should be a group thing. Or it I mean, be, like, a couple a things. Threesome. I mean, not saying that, but I'm saying as far as picking the woman, I think the woman should pick the other one. That usually it usually goes best that way. Yeah. Yeah. In my experiences, I've always it gone best be. that way. And then because the nigga's just gonna pick another chick that he just he's been wanting to hit. That yeah. He just, he just, but a female, she's probably gonna pick somebody who's really down with the threesome shit, who's probably just as nasty as the other two. Yeah. You know what I'm saying like it's it's gonna be right. I think the woman should always pick. 
Condom I, should be worn. Every threesome I've ever had. Oh. It was the girl. Like, either she picked her or it just, like, she came with her and it just happened to. I, my role, I would have to pick her. Like I said, it usually works better that way. I don't really have. This nigga's got windows going off in my ear. My <laughs> that shit was mad loud. Um, I don't really have threesome etiquette because I just feel like I'm filthy. So once we get in there, there's no holes bar. Everybody gets everything. Yeah, so that's yeah. your etiquette. Yeah. Like, <laughs> your etiquette is no I'm etiquette. not selfish. I don't yeah. show favoritism. But like, you should, though. You should show the favoritism? Extra should. Nah, she's so not gonna get everything. If you that the start showing, f- if you start sh- see, but but that's why I'm saying with the etiquette. So it's like, all right, some people feel like they don't want to have threesomes with their girls. Some people only want to have threesomes with their girl. No, we fucking together. That's that's it. <laughs> and then all right, so are you picking a stranger or are you picking like? No, we picking a stranger. We're not picking somebody that we know because we don't need no attachments. After we fuck, you gotta go. You wanna Uber or Lyft? Yep, because you know. I know most people. Well, I ain't gonna say most. I know a lot of people who like they threesome was with like they best like her best friend. Fuck no, because that means it's some hidden shit. If you down to be like, yes, I do want to fuck you. You want my nigga or what? Nah. But you know what? I know some women who like that's just what they, her and her best friend do. Like they fuck niggas together, uh, and they're okay with it. No. She got an Instagram. Mind your business, B. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, let us get a stranger. I know them for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> no, <I'm> just, no, <laughs> she got an Instagram, but no, like if that's, I don't know. No, I want a stranger. No attachments. We don't need to. I've seen if you're in a relationship, I can see why you wouldn't want why you would want a stranger. Yeah. with no attachments, that makes sense if you're in a relationship. But if you're just yeah. single and you out here having fun, what fucking difference does it make? Yeah, like as it long doesn't. As it, and that's why I say you shouldn't be you shouldn't show favoritism in situations like that where you're. We are not in a relationship. You just out here having fun. So where y'all draw the line at? What line? Because I seen I seen this shit. This um this one dude. He has twin sisters, mm-hmm. and they both they're both pregnant. Mm-hmm. Or they both have babies. So you you seen yeah. that shit? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I know a nigga. I didn't see it. I know a nigga in real life. I Ooh. know a nigga real real life that got yeah. Baby so boxes. yeah. So we we know the same nigga. Um, <laughs> there's not too many niggas out here. Oh, <laughs> uh, but then they're like what? He's I don't think he's a rapper should be worn, too. Definitely he's, for he's, the he's one, of, he's, he's one of the nicest niggas out here, rap wise. It's <laughs> definitely not a lot for facts. I don't uh, want my nigga putting his mouth on her or eating her body. That's not a and wearing a condom. Thing. Yes, it is. That's We're not, not gonna fuck her again. Who? She. That's it. He came with his mouth on her. Oh, you got rules. That's not etiquette. That's rules. So, all right. So if he's not eating the pussy, are you? No. So what is she there? Just like literally? We like, just nah. using her. <laughs> for, for what? what we need her for. Nah. What the fuck do we need her for? I'm using the rubber. Can't eat the pussy. You not eating you the pussy. You want to? I'm just saying. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if, yeah, if it's yeah, a threesome. Yeah, yes. Yes. If it's a threesome. If you feel comfortable enough to bring her. And, yeah. and I let you choose her. If you yeah. feel comfortable enough mm-hmm. to bring her into our bedroom. Oh, all no, those I things ain't you never had no, no complaints. <laughs> so you know what's going to happen with that situation? What's going to happen is she's going to try to fuck this nigga behind your back now. Well, that's yeah. I can't. I can't have rules in my threesomes, we, we, especially if that shit is halfway decent. She, cause she, she wants. She's gonna want to know what the whole shit is like. On the flip, the, un, the unfiltered version. So you gotta get somebody that. that on the flip side of that, I can say I've never had a threesome while I was in a relationship. Like I never had a threesome with my girlfriend. All my threesomes have just been. I had a threesome. So if it was, was your with your girlfriend, you would still I still don't think there should be rules. Like especially if I let you, you pick know what's the woman. Fucked up? Like if I pick the woman, I can see why you would have all those rules. But if I let you go out and choose a woman, I feel like anything should go. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. The fucked up thing is I had a threesome while I was in a relationship. How'd that happen? How'd it work out? Oh, my girl don't know. But <laughs> 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 oh my god. <laughs> Glad you said it. No. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> I'm bullshit. I'm bullshit. Glad he said it. I'm bullshit. She was waiting my conscience. <laughs> wow. I don't know. I'm not going to say. I don't know. You just don't want to give them everything. You want it to be fun. No complaints. But you don't plan on seeing them again. But that's why you can give them everything because you're not planning on seeing them again. Yeah. Like, that's the. You fuck their life up and get yeah, out of there. Like. You snatch they. You also have never had a one night stand. So when I have a one yeah, night stand, yeah, when I have a one night, like yeah. I'm going, you might get everything on one night. 
Yeah, I've never had one. We both in Miami for the weekend. We decided to link up and get together for one night. You might get everything in Miami that one night because I'm never going to see you again. Yeah. Maybe if I have But I want, you to, I want you to be back home in California and be like, yeah, that nigga fucked the shit out of me Memorial Weekend in yeah, I've Miami. I've never had Dubai. that. So maybe that's why. But I've never also had a boring threesome, so I can't really. So the person that I, I actually asked that question to somebody. Mm-hmm. Um. Uh, and her response was, like you said, favoritism was actually a bad thing in her eyes. Yeah. It, I mean, it is. It depends. But if I'm your main, I should be getting But that's everything. not. Both, everybody should get everything. Because then the person that's the, the, person that's the extra person is going to be like, what am I here for? Like, I'm just, y'all are really just using me. This isn't a threesome. Yeah, really, y'all just using me. Yeah, I'm really yeah. just using you, though. That's what I want you for. So, and that's what she said. Don't be selfish towards the other woman. No, I'm not saying being selfish because you're not about to give her everything. No, that's she selfish. He can't eat I'm it. selfish yeah. as fuck, which is probably why. He can't eat the pussy. And that's what she said. Some people get in their feelings. <laughs> I don't get in my feelings. That sounds like If he start eating the pussy, I, you look like you, I think you'll like start fighting both of them. Nah. Nah. Oh, you're going to leave. You're going to do one of the two. Mm. <laughs> See what no, I'm saying? No, like, no, no I'm not going to say that. No, nah, you're supposed to encourage him, like, because I know you. So if he eating her pussy, you're supposed to be like, Babe, put your tongue in her ass, too. Now, if he's not my nigga, I will say it probably will be different. <laughs> no, but that's what I'm saying. It's got to be a nigga. Like, if you have a threesome, it should be the same. You should turn into, the like, the female Wesley Pipes. You, you should be, yeah, you should be looking at like, babe, I know you got your tongue in her pussy, but put your tongue in her ass, too, like like you would do to me. Mm, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. See? Maybe I think I'm past the threesome stage of my life. I'm selfish. You do get past it. <laughs> As a nigga, you never get past it. Women get past it. I think I'm past it. As a man, you typically don't. If you're not a bisexual woman, you probably get past it. Yeah. But it's as a nigga, like Pam eats poo poo. No, I do not. She eats the la poussoir. I do not. That's so gross. I, do not. <laughs> yeah, I could be 45, and my wife gonna be like, "Look, baby, I wanna have a threesome." Be like, that, "When I get married, I'm probably gonna be all right, cool. More of a freak when I'm married, but bring her in. still gonna be some some rules to my shit." Yeah. So you're not gonna eat the la puntiana? No. Well, where do you get these names from? Yeah, it's so gross. It just sounds so nasty. <laughs> this guy. Where do you get these names from? So there's no rules. The la pusa, I don't, I don't have la any rules. La pusalita. Like, what I do to one, I do to the other. No. I need to be special. You sucking like, toes on the threesome? Yeah. Even the strange toes? My nigga. This nigga <laughs> don't even eat ass. Don't dab him up. My nigga. Don't uh, even yeah, eat you, booty. Yeah, you do need to grow up. <laughs> you wild child to that shit. Uh, you're right. I take my dad back. You're right. Yeah, you don't even eat You gotta ass. eat ass, B. You need to eat ass. I don't gotta eat ass. Maybe if I get married or some shit, I don't know. Maybe we get married. Did you battery die? Nah. Things Did it? Will happen. That's what it said? I mean, I see a red battery. She's usually with batteries, mm-hmm. me. Like it's about to. <laughs> Yeah, sure. that shit probably did, but that one's still rolling. Of course, we, we good, got so. mad angles, B. <laughs> we, we here with the shits. We got mad angles. With them angles. Don't try to change the subject about you not eating ass. Yeah, you do need to grow up. I would never. You never, never grow up? No, I would never change the subject about me eating ass. Yeah, oh. yeah tripping. I don't understand why you eat. Nigga, it's 2020. You need to do that. I mean. Put your tongue in the butthole. <laughs> when that's, how, okay. that's how filthy I am. I don't even want you to call it an ass. <laughs> I want your butthole. <laughs> Just do it. I mean, you know, when it has to happen, it has to happen. This should have been happening. It should have been happening. If it has to happen, it has to happen. If it has to, it's like, it should be something you want to happen. I ain't put my tongue in a butthole in a long time, and I'm it's almost depressing. This shit did. We working on that one. I mean, That's it cool. is what it is. You know. Let me take what we got. I'm depressed. Like, I really haven't eaten ass in a long time, and I'm, it kind of makes me sad. You like chicks to do it to you? <laughs> So I, I've had it done. Was I mad at it? No. no. I wasn't at all. Is it something that I'm going to ask you to do? No. No. But you're not going to tell them no. But I'm not going to Yeah, I've, I've never Like, if that's what you do, like, because I like what they like reverse the gooch. Yeah. Like, up it's under my balls. the nacho. The nacho, they, nacho they call it a lot of things. Balls. So, niggas, us it's men, we call it the gooch. And, yeah. It's well, gooch. it's not the asshole and it's not the balls, it's the nacho. Yeah. It's in the, just don't call my shit a tank. I'm I like, forgot. I said, white people call it a tank. <laughs> like, don't call like, my white shit people call it a tank. Like don't call my shit a motherfucking tank. Yeah, I, so. <laughs> I know the I know some people call it a tank for real. So, at the end of the day, like, I enjoy that shit. Like, if you gonna get my balls, you might as well get up under there, too. Sucks. I shave under there for a reason. Like, 
I know what I like done. Hey, be real. I know what I like done. So go ahead and get up under there. <laughs> if you just so happen to be under there, you'd be like, you know what? I'm going to eat this thing. <laughs> I'm not going to elbow you in the head for it. Yeah. And you know what's so funny? You know how I many niggas like, I don't like this shit. I, not one nigga that I know that's had that happen to them on accident or whatever yeah. has said, stop. I almost it, fought, like I almost yeah. fought a bitch. I didn't like it. No, nigga, you liked it. Shut the fuck Again, up. Again, when she'd be like, What do you, what turns you on sexually? Like, I'm not gonna be like, You eat my ass. Like yeah. that's not on my list. <laughs> right. But if, if that's how your spirit felt to move you that I don't night, know, man. do it. Hey B. I've had worse things happen. No, I haven't. I was going. Uh, <laughs> say, whoa, whoa, hold the fuck on. <laughs> it, was, it was one of those statements that you almost just throw it as a regular statement. I was like, wait, no, maybe you have it. No. <laughs> I don't know what's much worse than that. I hear him all the time. You're going to say, my nigga, the only way to yeah, go yeah, down yeah, is downhill from there. <laughs> it's all bad from there, B. So I have not had worse things happen in life. It's probably the worst thing that I've had happen to me in life. And so it was <laughs> No, there are worse things in life. You just be shot every day, B. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> you eat ass? Yeah, I know you eat ass. I don't even know what I'm asking you. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> what? I'm not asking you. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I don't think so either. As a nigga who's, who's had it done, I can't say there's anything wrong with it. I think some. It's about how you do it. It's a masculine way. I to get guess I'm not. Some. I feel like a prude. I thought I was a nasty nigga. No, you're not. I, I, I am. I, I spit mouths and everything. Oh, I do all that shit. That's I'm one with, thing I haven't like gotten into. The I'm with all that. Day. I, I spit mouth real good. The choke truck is the best. Yeah, part. I spit in the mouth. I spit in the butt. Stick my thumb in there. You I spit do all in the butt, but you don't yeah. lick it. Okay. You right there. I'm not you right stick there. Stick your tongue out. Cause Here. it's a it's a, it's a difference. You you spit and you let it, you let the spit drip and you take the. So you see that booty hole and you don't be like, yo, I want to lick this. You just. Here's what I hate. Thank you. Like, and it's not that I hate it because I don't necessarily need to fuck every woman in the ass. However, if I lick your ass, I feel like I should be able to stick my dick in there too. It's just me. Who said no? Somebody said no. A lot of women ain't into that ain't no shit these days. That's because niggas be trying to ram it in there. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it, do, it do take some experience. Yeah. And, and some Astro Glass. No, women, women not spit. really for that shit, yo. Some are, some are. We should talk, get the sponsorship from Astro Glass from that one episode. People talk that shit until you pull out bondage kits and shit. Like, all right, bitch, I'm tired of that shit. You into that? Yes, I am. You a um a dom or a sub? Both. I like it. What are you depends. more? I think I'm more like the dom. Do so you like to beat motherfuckers and shit? I won't beat them, but I like to be rough. So I'm saying you like <laughs> you you <laughs> real look he's real out in his life. Like, do I really want to go down this road? Like I think like, I need <laughs> me like a house and I need me like a room. Yep. Whips and chains and all that shit. Somebody called me Christian Gray the other day. I almost took offense and I was like, well, no, I guess you're, I was like, you're kind of right. Yeah, so like, would you let me <laughs> tie rope to your nipples and then slam it in the door? Why would you do that? They would that that's just that's the kind of shit they do. No. That's extreme. Yeah, that, that sounds like. That's, just, that's what they do. That's extreme. Yeah, I don't want that. No, BDSM you, is a different type of lifestyle. Yeah, it is. And it's no, it for is. everybody. Yeah. But like that real BDSM, they sign contracts and all types of yeah. things. Yeah, got shit. safe words. I'm not that wild. I haven't. Yeah, but I heard sometimes like that yet. safe word shit don't matter. Like I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep going. Like fuck your safe word. What? Do you, what this do you is what you to? wanted. Like, what do you yeah, mean? You like me? No, I shit. said this is what I've heard have, has happened. Yeah, who told you this? Like <laughs> what type of people are you talking to? It's wow. <laughs> real rough. You need to. <laughs> I need to reevaluate my circle. Yeah. <laughs> I need yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Well, I am a Pam. You might not want to go down that road. Yeah. You might be this. I don't know. I, <laughs> you might start down wrong. the road. Yeah. That, that was some shit. You don't know nothing. Shit. About. <laughs> 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 he told you ain't no safe words. It's <laughs> like what shit. the fuck? <laughs> Life That's the wildest shit I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> ain't no safe like words. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> mm, <my man. laughs> Nah, but I heard the, the, the illest way to torture You, you hear a lot of <laughs> shit. The illest way to torture Nah, you, yeah. Like, no, that's a wild ass statement to start off with. Let me finish. Yeah. Let me finish the shit. No, I don't want you to finish. <laughs> so, they said the illest way to actually torture a sub is to not do nothing to him. I'm sure. I mean, 
No, cause I, cause you know they so they anticipating it. That's what they really, really into. So they was like, yo, the the, the worst torture right. for them is to literally not do nothing to them at all. All right, so let's bring this back into some real life shit, right? Yeah, that's that's what I was trying to. All right, yeah. So on that token, in relationships, my my one tick or my one thing that I can't deal with mm -hmm. is being ignored. That's anybody. I hate the silent treatment. No, like people hate it. I will cut you off because nah, of that's that's me too. You get one time, and I and that's when I let you know because I'm big on communication. So I'll let you know that my one thing that I will not deal with is the silent treatment. Yeah. Your statement, your statement to me can be as simple as, "I'm mad. I don't want to talk right now." Yeah. Like, we good? <laughs> yeah, we good. Yeah. If you give me that simple statement as, "I'm mad. I don't want to talk right now." Yeah, I understand yeah. to leave you alone. Yeah. It's pervert. I, 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 I'm the, I'm the, I didn't touch it. I didn't touch it. For me I to say something to you and you just blatantly ignore me, that shit is Yo, disrespectful. I'm glad. It no. is. No, I'm, that's, that's definitely 100% my pet peeve. And I'm glad this nigga admitted that. Because one episode, I tried to have this conversation. Mr. Cool, I don't give a fuck. You don't want to talk to me, I don't give a fuck. I... He was probably going through some shit. I probably was. <laughs> like, but, no, but everything he just said was literally. No, and I, realistically, was, was literally I, it's not that I, I don't. Feel. I still don't give a fuck. Like, if that's how you want to carry it, yeah. I just know that I consider it disrespectful as fuck. No, but and I'm gonna let you. And because I don't give a fuck, I'm gonna let you go. Like, I have no problem cutting you yeah. off because of that shit, yo. And that's like, my thing. That even, there are a few things that I will immediately cut people off mm -hmm. for. You do that shit the first time. I'm gonna tell you, like, look, I'm big on communication. Let me know I'm mad. I don't want to talk to you. Yeah. That's it. Like you don't have to, We don't have to talk right now about it. I'm mad. I don't want to talk to you. Cool. I'm the same way. Yeah, but nah, if especially if, if you somebody I'm really trying to build with. I mean, even even still, even like... That shit is disrespectful. Or anything. Bro. That's like, yo, you my brother. We get into it and I'm trying to hit you like, bro, that shit's some dumb shit. And this nigga not responding. Man, fuck this nigga. Fuck, like, like, fuck this nigga. What am I supposed to do? But if it's somebody I'm really trying to build with and she on some bullshit... It's like, oh, nah. And usually, I, like I said, I've really, since I've, communication is big. We, you know, we always talk about Yo, that's about my, how, that's my number yeah. one thing. Like, communication is my number one. We talked a lot about how communication amongst people is just fucked up. Like, mm -hmm. <clears throat> so communication being a big thing. I mean, once I express to them my disdain for that silent treatment shit that people go, that's just, it's not only is it disrespectful, it's childish. Mm-hmm. It childish. is. So once like you I express can't my fucking dis articulate your your, 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 feelings? your feelings like I'm mad I don't as, talk. A, as a fucking adult yeah right like, so I've had an argument with you before yeah and we almost didn't talk yeah ever again I know. until you hit me up like Ja this is stupid no I told you he was about to catch these hands a little different that was how she and then we got to talking and this yeah. was this was stupid like but that's how she initiated the, like 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 I won't mad like I won't still mad. I mean, yeah, it was her fault though. Life Not happens. Fault. I might have barked on her. Like life happens. I might have really like really barked on her. That's how I know Pam is a strong person. <laughs> but as long as you can come back and apologize me, for your wrongs, like you should be able to move past. I didn't apologize to this day. We just came to a, but she didn't either. So we just kind of came to a. Uh, but yeah, I mean, to deal with me and still uh, want to want to deal with me as as a friend. I know I'm a hard friend to have. I'm an asshole. This is a fact. <laughs> like the biggest of assholes. Like if you go on a porn website and you search gaping. Yo, get the <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> Throw the fuck off. He is that type of asshole. Yo, my nigga, we about to turn all this shit off and we gonna have to throw these motherfuckers He's a though. gaping asshole. <laughs> but nah, yeah, we, I bought on her. I mean. Yeah. She barked. She she started barking first. Friends though. go through shit. I felt like I was defending myself. Friends go through shit all the time. But if you can admit that you're wrong, then I wasn't wrong. Or, I wasn't wrong. Not even that you admit that you're wrong. Just come to an agreement. Yeah, we agreed that I wasn't wrong. I'm sorry. We agree I wasn't wrong. Yes. Mm. But yeah. So all right. So threesome etiquette. Definitely strangers. You never gave your really. Did you really give your your thoughts on it? Yeah, I mean, I kind of my thoughts was intertwined with y'all. Rather, I agree to disagree. So you're giving this person this raw dick, this stranger. 
I mean, why, feel, why are com- you fucking somebody? Did you feel who comfortable you- enough to bring her into our bedroom? Why are you even fucking somebody who you don't know if they're clean? I don't know. I guess with me, the only thing... Can I put my mouth... See, my thing Can is, I put my mouth on her? Yeah, see... Uh, see, I had right, three so, so somebody that my, I knew, so they weren't even strangers, so I guess my rules would be different. So, listen. The other so, way my thing happened. is, I wouldn't hit somebody with a condom that I wouldn't hit without one. Okay. And by that, I mean, for the people who are like, what the fuck? So, by that, I mean, if I feel like I have to, you like, absolutely it. use a condom with you, because I, I think that something might be going on, I'm not... I don't want to hit you with a condom. Yeah. Like I'm not putting no condom on if I put my mouth on you. Like right, your no, pussy oh, nah. raw. That's and yeah. that's the thing. So if I'm if I'm eating a pussy without a, di- have you ever seen like you want you want me to get what you got, but you can't catch whatever I have. <laughs> like what type of shit is that? That shit doesn't make sense. Well, I don't have nothing. To I don't have nothing either. But that's what I'm saying. Like that's <laughs> the yeah, logic no, in that the, shit. The, like, the logic of yeah. But that's what I'm that's saying. It's no just like either. you want me to eat your pussy and then you want me to put a condom on. Like bitch, I'll pull out. Are you scared of being pregnant? Yeah, I'll buy a plan B. Shit. You can get an abortion plan like that. Plan B does not work. Like, number one, my HSA is popping, pa- so. Plan B's have a weight limit. They do. I like, tr- a lot of people don't know that shit. Plan yeah, B's you got to get them two if they go with a certain amount. Well, I've thanks. Heard. I've I heard. wish I, w- I didn't know that. I've heard. Shout out to yeah. my twins. You should have that. I mean, you- <laughs> yeah. that's what I've heard. You. I mean, I don't you know. You know, it says it. I don't know. That's a weight limit. It's a time period. The time period is 72 hours. You have 72 hours. But. The weight thing. If you weigh over 176 pounds, you should probably take two. Yeah, so we giving y'all motherfuckers gyms right now. Facts. <laughs> so Plan B sponsor. Want to take- Shout out to the Plan B sponsor that's coming. <laughs> <laughs> Your best take heat. But nah, so I mean, but yeah, that's the thing. So it's like, if I, if I wouldn't, if I have to fuck her with a condom, rather I'm going to or not, but if, if I have to fuck her with one, she, she probably shouldn't be in my bedroom. Yeah. That's a fact. Why are you bringing bitches in our room that you feel are... See, my threesome was with a couple that I knew. No, I'm just saying, so... I guess. That's probably why it was... Why? You knew them. Yeah, I knew them. Like, they Was that your only threesome? We had several. But... That's still your only encounter. The only encounter. It was was great. I mean, she got offers and shit on the table. I definitely have lots of... For facts. We know that. Stop saying that. You want to share stop, or no? no hey, I'm y'all niggas stop. Hey, y'all niggas stop sending random dick pics to people, man. We're tired of that yeah. shit. That shit's yeah, out of control. Yeah, we don't like them. Not in the kitchen by the refrigerator. Mom. I just want to know, like. That if, was mad specific. If you're a nigga and you send a random <laughs> dick pic and it's work, please let me know. I I probably know one nigga who's going to join in on this. I'm not going to call him out. I'll let him call himself out, but. If you, yeah, if that shit has ever worked for you, please let me know. It please doesn't work. It re- let me know the woman really, that it worked on so I can avoid her. Well, if it's somebody that you are dealing with and you already know what, you know what it does, then you're like, yes, you know, you're okay with it. But if you're a random person and you just got your dick out in the kitchen by the refrigerator with your work clothes on, I'm like, my nigga, you ain't even, did you wash your hands yet? You just pull your dick out, it's just hard in the kitchen? <laughs> like, I don't get it. This it, shit sounds mad specific. It was, because I was just looking like, yo, you have on your work uniform. Your dick is out. Why is it hard? And then in the kitchen, did you get something to drink first? Like, what the fuck is going on? I mean, to be honest, you ever get fresh off of work pussy is that's that's I I like fresh off work pussy. Like fucking fresh out off of a stressful day after work. But he don't know me. I don't know him. He just and he was he was trying to figure some shit out. Yeah, and had different <laughs> angles. I was like, my nigga, you got angles too. So. Oh. I know you've done this. I, I'm sure you probably got these pictures because I'm sure I'm guilty of sending them, not randomly, but to women I've dealt with. You cleared get, that shit yeah, up quick. I don't send. I don't send random. <laughs> I dick didn't send pics, Pam so. these pictures. But I'm saying yeah. I sent them. Not even Pam. I don't just don't. I don't send random women random dick pics. But women that I've dealt with, like you ever gotten a dick pic with like his dick next to something comparing it in size, like to the remote control or something? Yes, I have. <laughs> yes, the fuck I have. Yes, I have. I know. I said a dick pic about dick next to the remote <laughs> control. I definitely have. So I want you to know. <laughs> if you want to play with yourself, this is what you should probably use in comparison. Yeah, definitely have. He didn't get no ass. Yeah, like I said, it was somebody I was already fucking so. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh man, y'all niggas are terrible, man. <laughs> people are terrible people. Stop being terrible people. What time is it? Yeah, we mad late for yeah, something. Late. We, 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 we got mad late for the day party I know and we shit. Got shit to do. Yeah. Do, so, do we have any? Uh, wait, what are your What are your final thoughts for the <laughs> for the podcast? <laughs> yeah, niggas stop sending random dick pics. 
stop throwing bags and dicks at people. <laughs> like, be concerned with your own dick. <laughs> like, I, don't know, like, I don't know what to tell people. This shit is weird. Nah. <laughs> you have any positive thoughts to spew, Pam, before we close out? Have some great sex. That's very positive. Yeah. You know what? I want everybody to accomplish a goal in 2020. Have sex in some place you haven't fucked yet. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, try a position. You know, do something you haven't do done before. If you've never, yeah. if you've never had a one night stand, have yeah. a one night stand this year. If you've never had sex in public, have sex in public. Like do just it. do some shit you've never something done before. This year. Yeah, live once, man. Let a nigga put a thumb in your butt. Yeah. Never know what you might enjoy until you try it. Yeah. yeah. Don't look you? at me like that. <laughs> well, I'm, I thought you had something to say. So my also, what you got to say? My positive thought for the week is just get out and get to it. Stop bullshitting. Get it generic. If you stop being lazy, you'll stop being lazy. If that don't make sense to you, then you'll figure it out later. That's how I know I'm lazy because that shit didn't make no sense. To me. Yeah. So, it's like you I'm know, if you, if you stop being lazy, your body will adapt, and you ain't gonna want to lay in the fucking bed all day. Like, there's so many people that lay in the bed all day and wonder why the fuck they not accomplishing nothing. They not doing nothing. They they can't get shit done. It's because, my nigga, as soon as you get off of work or as soon as you get off of whatever, the first thing you go do is lay in the fucking bed so or to. sit on the couch or whatever. So if you stop being lazy, your body will build that routine up, and you, you're you not going to want to do that shit no more because you're going to want to get up and go. Yeah. I respect that. So go go do something. Go be something. And go have great sex, like they said. Yes. Fuck some. Till next time. So we gonna oh, toast wait, up. I'm out of that. I love y'all, man. Pam, welcome back. Hey. It's gonna be a lot different with Pam back. I like this. Yeah. And since we doing this shit every other week, unofficially, <laughs> it might be every week. You never know. Yeah. Every you, other week. Hey, we, man, you get it when you get it. Yeah. That's all you gotta tell them this year. Good work, selling. In 2020, self. we the prize. <laughs> Good work, selling self. My dick is on a pedestal. You get it when you get it. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Nah. Um. Send us some sex topics too, or just topics. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, right. next next week or uh, starting next week, we're gonna do this segment. So you know, ask. I don't want to say oh, ask job, question. but ask pervs. Ask us, yeah. Ask us, and we're gonna read the shit live on the show, and we gonna all give our motherfucking advice to whatever you want to ask about. The shoulder should meet up. <laughs> <laughs> oh. really hit the motherfucking. This Pam got some shit I like to say. The nasty shit. Yeah, Pam got some shit. I know to say. I like the nasty shit. <laughs> Let's go. We gotta go get drunk and shit. Yeah, we gotta go. How nasty do you like it? We out. <laughs>